Let's go, let's go, street pro, street pro, street pro, bottom line, flow, canteen, hot take, J, K, O, sports professor, you know, you know, we street professor back again, it's game time, I la play, I know play time, it's play time, cause we ain't talking about practice like AI, sports professor spit the best takes out like AI, awfully intelligent, eh, I can't write mine, Rhyme siding with girls DMs like Messi after the goal time. That was a triple entendre. Did you get me rambling? Flipping some old miles. We the bottom line champions. Let's go, let's go, street pro, street pro, street pro, bottom line. Flow, canteen, hot take, J and O. Sports professor, you know, you know. We Street Professor, I'm back, baby, like I never left. <laughs> Bottom line, flow, canteen, hot take, Jake and O. Street! Stop. Go hard, but go home. Go hard, go hard, but go home. Go hard, but go home. Like a end zone. When the circle turn to my home, can't get me out of my zone. Go hard, go hard, go home, go hard, go, 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 go home. Yeah, these championship rings on my hands now. In my head, I'm top 10, yeah, that's hands down. In the squad squad, now you're looking man down. Funny high foes turn to friends now. Drive a race car like a Tari now. Call filling up, I need product again. It's like a playground, might slide on you. Do a backflip, cause I'm mad rich. I'm the definition of what that is. Go hard, a go home, go home, go hard, go hard, a go home, go home, go hard, go hard, a go home, go home, go hard, go hard, a go home, touchdown like the end zone. When the circle turn to my home, can't get me out of my zone. Go hard, go hard, go home, go home, go hard, go go go, go home. I'm a warrior, I go back to back, then go back to back. If I top the top, then I double back, and I'm topping that. Yeah, I beat my own records. Yeah, I gotta get money fetish. Same team, my own Cedric. Never dull, this electric. Went and put the rigs on my toes. Me and bro, that's the give and go. Stay 100, end zone, end zone. Keep them coming. I know, I know. Flood my wrist, no, I'm not dumb like that. No, no, no. I just wanna give my mama a hundred racks. Go hard, a go home, go hard, go hard, a go home, go hard, go hard, a go home, go hard, go home, go hard, go home, go home, go hard, go home, 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 what up, y'all? Welcome to the Bottom Line Sports. Episode 118, and I forgot to do my intro music. Hey, there it is. Come on now. I had it muted. <laughs> my bad. All right. Time to go hard or go home, baby. Just down like the end zone. Zone, zone. zone. Let's go. Touchdown with us. The mic on. Touchdown with your boy. Holla at the bottom line. And it ain't a, ain't a whatever you, what'd you call it one time? Like a gazant or something? I don't know what you call it. <laughs> the what? Come on, Flo. Come oh, on, Flo. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was you, Omar. Yeah. You were like, what, what on the say? song. What's a gazant? Yeah, on the song. Because I was like, what is he trying to say? Right, yeah. He was talking about getting his mom a, a rack. I was a like, rack. I don't know what that sounds like. A rack. A rack. A rack. You still call it a Jirax. I was like, what are you yeah. talking about, Omar? A, a, a Jirax? I was like, a little Jirax? I think you meant a, I think you said a hundred racks. But okay. Hey. It is a little Jirax, a little... 
a little hundred racks, a little, little hundred racks, you know, racks yeah, chill, yeah. And, chill and relax and, and, and all that <laughs> stuff and watch the bottom Woo! line sports. Man. Let's go, baby. One four one eighteen. Appreciate everybody coming on say, the show. I will say the music is a little loud on my end. I will say that. Is it loud on your end? All right. It's loud always loud, loud coming in. in I'm down, Omar. All oh, right. Welcome you know. to the show. Well, well, here we go. There we go. We'll transition to the regular music that Canteen likes so much. Favorite right. song, bro. That's my favorite like background, background song. song. Yeah. Welcome to the show. We were on uh, YouTube. A couple of YouTubes. Hopefully, we're going to have a guest, Tony the Savant. Put Savantis on his okay, but I think Savant, that's the way I know him. He's a friend of the show. He's watched the show, commented on some stuff, shared some of our stuff. We appreciate him. He's going to be on in a minute. We're bringing him on as a special guest, Tony the Savant. A lot of sports knowledge. We're on some X channels, and hopefully, we'll be on his channels too. Um, and uh yeah hopefully we'll be coming on his channels uh youtube to facebook so we got a uh, 1600 on the facebook group Ooh. hey dude. 2000 help us out yeah hopefully hope to get thousands so we'll see but we appreciate all the facebook members everybody who's on the show everybody who contributes to the show send us some stars on facebook i believe just on my page where you can try and uh, bottom line sports page but anyway if you want to if you're not don't worry we're still gonna be here right <laughs> all right there. we appreciate you yeah so jake's gonna be a little late so in his place um uh, if you don't know that's omar over there and that's and the there. sports professor in case you can't read the thing right in front of him but yeah uh i don't know what i was gonna put in i'm gonna give him a song i'm gonna give oh, him jake's little song Give him Jake's old song. He he only had it for a couple days. So, but here he is, the one, the only. Let me get the song going. I give him an intro. Tony, the savant. It's your song, okay? We'll give you this song right here. Hey, I rock some that. W and bankroll is what it's called, baby. Hey, what's up, Tony? Let's have man. Bottom line sports. Bottom line sports, baby. We'll go back to our regular music. But that's a little bit about yourself, man. Uh, introduce yourself to the folks. Kind of tell us what you, what you do, man. A little bit. Good, everybody. I am find me on youtube facebook instagram twitter the big uh do sports commentary sports journalism um and just you know bring back I mean, it's a source just a sports fan i like to talk, to talk to sports fans. <laughs> okay okay all right uh you cutting in and out i don't know if that's your mic or what's it what's it do you just cutting in and out just a little, a little bit. bit a little bit yeah I, I wasn't sure yeah if you need to get bit. close to the mic or something but yeah no welcome to the show we appreciate you coming in friend of the show man uh yeah so yeah i know you you a big lebron fan so i, I want I, I wanted you on the show a bomb you said a bomb <laughs> A LeBron yeah, fan. A LeBron <laughs> fan, not a bum. He didn't say a bum. Oh, did you call? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm saying Lee Bum. Lee Bum. Le bum, Le bum fan. That's I didn't right. call him. I never call. I, right. I call him LeBron. You know, some people like horrible. to call him LeBron. Yeah. Horrible, man. But anyway, we'll talk about that in a minute, man. We'll talk about that in a minute. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, we're going to get into this. We got Omar here. He's our our uh, adjacent expert to combat sports. <laughs> He's a combat sport of Jason. That's what we got to call him because he's Tubber D's his guy. He's our guy. But he, they have that uh, ball and buds and they have the combat sports channel. So we're talking a little bit about uh, Garcia versus Haney. Garcia coming up big. Coming up Woo! big. Uh, thankfully for Haney, though, let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, he wasn't, the title wasn't online because Garcia failed to make weight by 3.2 pounds uh, to make the limit. But he did defeat Haney a majority decision, knocked him down three times in the fight. Uh, one judge actually scored it 112 to 112. That's kind of crazy. But I mean, then the other two were 114 to 110 and 115 to 109 for Garcia. He improves to 25 and one. His only defeat is against 
Javante Davis and Haney is now falls to 31 and one. What happened in this fight, Omar? Oh, wow, Give us wow. your take. Yeah, so yeah, so uh awesome, awesome fight for any of y'all that saw it. It was a uh it was a really good fight. For, let's start from the beginning. Um, first of all, as you mentioned, the title was not on the line. Uh Garcia right. missed weight by three and a half pounds. Um, Garcia's uh, behavior has been erratic, to say the least, um, leading up to this fight. Uh, it's mm -hmm. been heavily noted based on his social media postings, and and they even had to have the president of one of the organizations, you know, check on him as as a welfare check before the fight to make sure um, that he was ready. There just because a lot of things that were that were going on and things that were happening. So um, right. for him to miss by three and a half pounds just made it seem like, wow, is this fight even going to happen with all the stuff right. we've seen? There was a question about that. So, yeah. Right. So they, they figured it out. They, they took the title off the line. They made an agreement on money. It was said to be 1.5 mil. I guess it turned out to be 600K. He paid him for the missed weight. Uh, either way, they went on to have a fight. Uh, Garcia, um, man, his left hook is one of the most lethal punches right. in the game. And, um, and he lit him up with it all night. Uh, starched him in the first round. Uh, then Haney took over because Haney is great defensively and he's a good boxer when right. he's in there. So from the right. second to the to the, through the sixth, you could have given right. all those rounds to Haney. Um, but mm -hmm. then after that, from the seventh on, um, Garcia mm -hmm. just started laying in that left hook as right. much as he possibly could. Yeah, he caught him three yeah. times. He knocked yeah, him down it in like the seventh, the tenth, and the eleventh. So. Yeah, and it seemed like Garcia kind of changed his uh, strategy kind of mid-fight and started being more aggressive and kind of caught him off guard a little bit, caught Haney off guard, changed his approach a little bit. Uh, and what do you think, uh, Tony, did you see in this fight, or what do you think about this? Uh, are you a big fight guy? Oh, yes, sir, big bro. Uh, can you okay. hear me? Yeah, audio? you're good. Yeah, you're good Oh, now. it sounds better now. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, no, I clicked out. I had to get up on the, on the Wi-Fi. <clears throat> okay. Yes, yeah, so I was able to catch the fight from start to finish. Okay, good. Shout out to you, Omar. He was making great points, man. Uh, but I think one thing that nobody was really talking about that I, I brought up with a couple of my inner circles is Ryan Garcia's hand speed. You know, I don't mm -hmm. think he's even counting for that. Like, dude has old school Sugar Ray Leonard, Muhammad Ali hand speed. Now, then you put that okay. left hand, you know, because he, he, he has a lot of punches in his arsenal. He can hit you with an uppercut, but that left hook, like you said, right. you know, his, his patent move. And uh, mm -hmm. he was just faster than Devin Haney expected him to faster than Bill Haney expected him to be. And then mm -hmm. uh, he did the old Wiley trick. You know, he, he he got he opened the front door for Devin Haney to come in, and it was all kind of home alone traps waiting for him. So. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so Ryan yeah. Garcia, home man. alone. Yeah, you know, know the Macaulay. <laughs> you walk in, and there's a freaking uh, a freight coming down by the hitch. Right. That's yeah. What he, yeah. He went <laughs> and uh, That's you know. A good one. I'm a big boxing fan. I, Errol okay. Spence was my guy, so I don't. Right. I, okay. I think Errol Spence, after Bud Crawford humbled me, I was talking a okay. lot. <laughs> Bud humbled me, so I don't have yeah. a favorite any longer. I, I got oh. To, this is the first big fight I got to appreciate as just a good old Bud. And you know, so uh, yeah. Okay. I see, man. Yeah. yeah. You got any thoughts, Can, on this one? Man, hey Garcia, majority decision. When you look at the scorecard, one twelve, one twelve. 114, 110, 115, 109. I mean, he just dominated yeah. the entire time, bro. Complete right. you think total domination. Yeah, I think like, it looks like... Not, let's, not, let's not get this wrong real quick. One well, thing to note. That, that judge who had 112, 112. Right. Come on now. We know about right. yeah. champions. Yeah. 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 That's that really was a little crazy. Yo. He was really was biased. Crazy. Very biased on that one. Well, and, and, and Omar, so a lot of people were talking about that uh, the way he took away that point and so without even a warning, he took a point away from Garcia punching on the break, yeah. and he he thought that was a little bit uh, aggressive and taking away a point right away. What do you think on that, Omar? Uh, did you talk to Cobra about that, or what do you think? Uh, I did not talk to him about that specific point, but again, okay. champion's advantage, right? I believe that that ref probably even saved him uh from you know the second knockdown where he was right. holding on to him and like shaking right. his hand i never seen it before in a match he like, he's right. like you okay you okay and, like holding him like after the count like right. man you better let him right. go and stuff because garcia's there right. ready to go and i'm thinking like yeah what the hell is going up so, you know he some people say like, the referee had a, had a bet on the fight or something you know or something <laughs> 
<laughs> maybe shit. Maybe that judge too. No, let's stop. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's not get too far. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, a great, a great fight, a great thing for uh, Garcia. My, my kind of my question on Omar is why, if you're Haney, why even take the fight? I mean, because you don't really win anything if you beat Garcia. I mean, you get a, a W, but I mean, if you lose to him, people are gonna say, hey, you shouldn't be the, even be the champ. You know, I mean, you you got knocked down, you lost the fight. I mean, what's the point of even for Haney? There's no advantage for him to take the fight. Well, and I think uh, okay. Tony can help elaborate after I, after I start uh, uh, and come okay. in with this stat right here. But this is actually their seventh time fighting, I believe this was. Um, oh, really? Going all the way back to amateurs. So these oh, two okay. have a very, very rich history. They grew up in the same area and have fought okay. all the way since 12 years old, where uh, wow. uh, Garcia won the first. First uh, professional, first right? Match. Um, as amateurs, um, but I mean, as well, first professional fought. fight, though, right? Okay. Oh yes, 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 yeah, I got you. Okay, um, okay, that's all. So, okay, good. Yeah, go ahead. And like I said, I'm sure Tony can elaborate. But yeah, uh, it's seven out of I think I believe it's seven fights. They've have a they have a long history. So why not wow. take this fight at this point? These okay. guys are joined at the hip, and they're going to okay. have a rematch after this as well. So. Right. Okay. What do you got to say yeah. on that, Tony? What's the, what is why hand take the fight if it's not even. To me, it's more an advantage for Garcia because if he beats him, he'll be like, oh, you beat the champ. But what do you think, Tony? Uh, I think it was a lot of moving pieces for sure. Oh, uh, and Flo, mm -hmm. I definitely agree with what Omar was saying on that. Um, that history comes into play, you know, especially when you got pride on the line. It's right. glory at stake. Uh, I think these two would have fought each other regardless. If, if, if Ryan came in 200 pounds and Haney was one, they would have still <laughs> <do this>. Right. Right. <laughs> wow, it's okay. It's an old school boxing work. Okay. We used to okay. see the, the Tommy Hearns in it. Right. Yeah. Mark, you know, you know the greats, though. The Mark. Yeah. Uh, yeah. These, these inner, you know, these inner stories within the story. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But Haney, I, I'm, I think that's why he took the fight. And of course, you know, there's a lot of stuff surrounding it. But at the end of the day, these two dudes are warriors. Uh, I've said that Devin Haney is an old school kind of guy. He, he's going for glory. And Ryan Garcia, right. you know, he gets a lot of uh, criticisms, but Ryan right. Garcia is a school guy. You know, he's he's right. really about what he says. He might he might get criticized, but he's really about what he says, you know. Right. Yeah, that's true. We got, yeah. we got old school kind of fight between these two young right. young. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah so uh Omar, what do you think uh is next for uh for garcia because it's obviously kind of elevates him a little bit uh, is it a rematch with uh, tank davis maybe uh lemachenko cambosos what do you think is the next for no, him i mean, I mean uh, no as we mentioned it's got to be a rematch i mean okay. i think rematch, if, if yeah. you a man i think if you a man of your word and okay. y'all are tied at the hip as you are um i know haney said it right after the the the, the match was over that he right. you know he gave him a chance now he wants his rematch to get it back and if you're garcia this time do camp right get there in make weight and that way right. you can which win the title by beating them and win right. the championship next time that's motivation right. enough i would think okay do so you think yeah. a rematch right away with haney is, is the is the best bet for him okay you too tony you think so? With the title on the line. Well, they, I know, uh, uh, I don't know if you caught this, oh, but uh, uh, Garcia was talking about moving up to 147. So, I'm Right, that's what I'm oh, saying. Wow. He's had a, he struggled to get down to, to, to that catch weight with Tank. So, I'm, I mean, I don't know if, you know, because some people just kind of grow out of their weight as they get older. It's just harder to stay down at that weight. So, that's why I was thinking maybe he might move up or uh, if he, but, you know, I, I don't really like those catch weights, but. Yeah, me neither, and I, and I hate. It. I mean, not that I hated that, but I know Oscar. You know, usually, that, one guy gets a disadvantage. You know, the guy who's a little heavier gets kind of disadvantage because he's got to cut a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. It's know? always gonna be yeah. somebody one forty three, and then another guy forty. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I would love to. I mean, we. I thought this was gonna happen with Errol Spence and Terrence Bud Crawford. You know, have a rematch in the next division with them going from one forty seven to fifty four. So I thought. That was gonna happen. I would love for Ryan and uh Devin to, you know, at least put that option right. on. The I know yeah. Devin that you know that championship now. <laughs> he right. still has to hey. right, right, <laughs> exactly, I like exactly. Pull him yeah. to both up and let's say one forty seven. You know, it's both. Yeah, 
okay yeah that sounds good okay that sounds good and then maybe a, a rematch with with tank or something like that come yeah. if, assuming assuming rank garcia wins well i mean maybe he maybe not tank because he's he might be too light for him now i mean he, i don't think tank will come up i think so. tank got to get past frank morton man we cannot look okay. at frank morton that's true okay that's fair. He's a cheeky fighter just like Ryan was. Everybody was overlooking Ryan just 24 hours ago, and okay. now we, we have a different conversation. So we can't yeah. overlook Frank. Tank got to get past Frank Martin. Okay. Mm. Any final words, Omar? Yeah. On this uh, fight? No, I mean, I think uh, I think uh, everything Tony said was right. Yeah, and uh, I think that uh, I, I want to see the rematch again, but uh, it was a great right. fight. Great battle. Yeah. As, like Tony said, two Warriors. Um, right. Garcia, make weight next time and take his belt. Going that way, <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah. So the next big fight, I guess, Omar is what uh, in May 18th, Usyk and Fury. The next kind of big fight. Uh, actually, no. We, well, yeah, I guess you got Canelo and Mungia. Uh, okay. I may Mungia are fighting on May 4th. Uh, okay. That Saturday, so that'll probably be the next big one for main mainstream, but not uh, for boxing boxing heads, but for mainstream right, fans, heads. maybe mainstream, aren't that deep. Saying, the yeah, big fight. When I say big fight, fight I mean you know. Not the boxing. Head, well, I mean, you know? I think that's a big fight. I think. I mean, okay. we expect Canelo to win, but I mean, you know, we'll see what happens. Right. Okay. You got a favorite, uh, Tony, in the Usyk uh, Fury fight? Uh, I got an appreciation for uh, for Usyk's style. You know, okay. Uh, is and especially at a heavyweight, you know how he's able to move in and out, especially and even being a little undersized amongst the trees. You know, you talking. Right. About Fury, Joshua. Right. Yeah, a lot of big D, big dudes in the heavyweights these days. He, 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 he's right there like with tall, Meaning tall dudes. <laughs> yeah, and, and Uzi yeah. is five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, right. think it's, I think the style confounds him, though, too. Wouldn't you say that, Tony? One more time, one more. I'm sorry. I said, wouldn't you say that Usyk's style like kind of confounds Fury? It confuses him a little bit? Yes, and that's why I've been wanting these two to fight for as long as I've been loving boxing, you know, as long as these two been, you know, as far as contendering and them been in the right. same room of this possibly being a fight. Uh, thank goodness for those Saudis, man. You know, you're throwing us a bunch of money out of nowhere so we can finally get this fight. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the Prince. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. All right, man. Yeah, so, yeah, so, uh, a lot of boxing fans out there. Clubber D is uh, our combat expert. About, uh, combat G. Tony, he's the combat G, and uh, Tony's got a little, a little. He knows a little bit about his boxing. He's got some boxing uh, chops yeah. there. And Omar, of course, he's the professor. He is a sports professor, so Omar knows all sports. Always say all different Of boxing is my true love, man. You know? Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're going to get Tony up on the combat sports special. And I always tell everybody, Roberto Duran was my manos de pierda. He was my dad's favorite boxer hey, back in the day. Yeah, uh, yeah. Duran. That was <laughs> manos de pierda. Yeah, yeah. He loved, he loved him. His, some Durans, my Lexus Arguello. Those kind, those are old school boxers, but. Yeah, my man would go out. My man would go out and get lit up the night before, and still go out there and rock your. I don't, Rand. If he could, if he could stay in shape, he would have cognac at more. like four a.m. and you still would. Oh yeah. yeah, I know, he man. In the rock, in the rock, in the rock. If Duran had been a little more disciplined, man, he could have been a almost and maybe a maybe a little other kind of rock too. Uh, oh man, <laughs> you know, it was the eighties. I don't know about that. Wow, <laughs> it was the eighties. That's right. Seventies, <laughs> really, when he started. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, late seventies, he was still, yeah. No social media. Like, uh, uh, I, I remember when he fought Pink Floyd and uh, a lot of Mexican fighters, a lot of uh, Latino fighters. Back when he was lighter, when he was really, I think he was mm -hmm. lightweight or yeah, when he was like one thirty. And then he moved. He kept moving up, <laughs> up and up and up. But yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, good, good, oh, good. Man. Talk about some boxing. Uh, let's let's move on to some uh, Major League Baseball. Omar, what is the hot topic right now in baseball? And then Canteen and Tony, if you got a question for the professor on some baseball, go at it. Go ahead, Omar. Yeah, I mean, not the not necessarily the hottest topic per se, right. but uh, okay. uh, the one of the hottest teams uh, and right. hottest divisions. Uh, so if you remember last year when we were talking baseball, remember we baseball. talked about how the AL East always had pretty much all year long like four out of five teams that were above Over 500. 500 right yeah yeah so right now all five damn teams in the al east are above 500. it is <laughs> wild um and that includes the orioles 
who are the Orioles. Second place. Second place, bro. I love They're second yeah. place. Right behind the Yankees. I have right right behind, the Yankees. behind the Yankees. They just yeah. promoted their star rookie Jackson Holiday last week, and their rookie from 2021, their first round pick Clint Cowser. Uh, hit, right. four, hit uh, 440 last week with a 1400 OPS. So the Rooks and their young players are playing really well. Shout out to Cedric Mullins also, who had a game-winning home run and uh, a, a beautiful catch that same game. So shout out to the O's. I think they can overtake hot take Jake's uh, Yankees, but right now the Yankees are in first. Now, cu- now juxtapose Jake. that with juxtapose uh, that with your AL West that, flow. Where yeah. all teams are either 500 or below because apparently uh, no one wants to take that damn division. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, Omar, um, yeah, I'm, but I'm we're still in first place, that's all that matters right now. <laughs> oh, not much to 500 about record. That. Oh, but uh, here's here's one quick question before I, I turn it over to uh, Tony and then uh, Ken can he has a question. Can the Guardians keep this up? They're in first place. I don't think anybody no, was really expecting no. them there. I mean, they they're still playing well. I mean, they're, they're up three games on Kansas City, and even Kansas City, the Royals are doing well. And they're the um, Guardians so, are gonna tank, Flo. They're gonna tank, bro. Okay, okay. What they're do you think, tank, Omar? Man. What do you think, Omar? On the on the Guardians? Yeah, yeah they're they're uh, two games above the Royals right now in the standings. Um, and if okay. we remember, a couple years ago. Uh, the Guardians made the playoffs. Um, okay. And granted, they didn't yeah. stay in very That's long. Fair. They had a first round exit, but this team was right. young then and uh, and was starting to be on the come up. And now they're growing into their into their prime. So yeah, I don't see why they cannot continue this. Like I said, they got a, young, a lot of young bucks on that team. Now, I will right. say this. Can, can Steven Kwan continue to hit 350 the whole year? No, not going to happen. Uh, so he'll come back a little to earth. Is Josh Naylor going to have six home runs and 20 RBIs out the gate and continue to do that? Probably not. But mm-hmm. I do think that the Guardians can continue to hold on. Uh, and yeah, they'll be putting up a good fight with the Royals all year. The Royals are looking uh, right. good as well. And they are a good young team that just signed their superstar Bobby Witt Jr. to a nine-year mm-hmm. contract in the offseason. So look for those two to battle all year long. Okay. All right, Tony, you got anything for the professor or any topic you'd like to talk about in baseball? Uh, so, gentlemen, <laughs> I'll give you all a little backdrop. Uh, okay. Like with baseball, okay? I'm okay. a Chicago, okay. Chicago, man. It has been oh. Easy. Not even just, a, I'm not a typical Chicago fan, all right? I only go for the, the Bulls, the White Sox, and the Blackhawks. And there's all been, right. some, you know, <laughs> in my team, so. Uh, uh, oh, been, man. It's been, it's been very painful being a White Sox fan, but I'm dedicated. Mm. Hey, look, 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 that <laughs> I have to put my feelings in here. Oh, <laughs> no uh, But oh. I live in I say for I live in Texas, man. I've been living in Texas for ten years. Now. Okay. I do support the Rangers, and I was happy to see them go on their front. But I know that's your team, man. I'm happy to see. Yeah, y'all. let's Fine. go. Uh, <laughs> and I was just looking at the game with the Braves. Look like y'all having a good one over there with them right now. So yeah. All right. But uh, yeah, no, nothing. Yeah, to I, I'm, about I, I, white I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, Tony. <laughs> Our uh. It's not looking very good there. It's uh, they're going to actually challenge the Mets, uh, sixty-two Mets for the worst record ever in history with forty wins. So uh, we'll see. The White Sox season, they lost four in a row, one one, lost five in a row, one one, lost six in a row, and one one. So the wow. The, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, brother. I apologize. Oh, wow. You and uh, Clubber, you and Clubber D are both White Sox fans. So yeah. Uh, Remind you, remind you, Omar, of uh, football season with the Raiders, huh? Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. 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 I'll take your Raiders that. Over. I'll take that. I'll take you're that. the same way during football that. season. You're, you're the same way. Right? Pat, you were like, Uh-oh. The Raiders. <laughs> Listen, I, I hold near to, to 2005. That was the last time my White Sox was essentially relevant. And okay. uh, I'm yeah. holding near, near to 2005, 19 years later. We will we'll be Hold back. On. There you we'll go. Holding on for your life. Listen, but I'm holding on, folks. Hold on, man. Yeah. Canteen, he's a Braves fan. You got anything for Omar Good Canteen and the baseball? Man, Braves, the, the, the Braves have had a great, great year so far. They're 14 and 5 they're in first place. They're losing. They're down by two right now to the Texas, to your team, 
Mm-hmm. Your team says it's ironic. Your team is right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I want to get Omar's insight on this one thing, man. Okay. What is going to happen with that interpreter, man? I mean, what's the fate of this guy that took all this money, did all this stuff? He what going to is jail. his fate at this point, bro? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ken, one thing about your Braves, like I said, they were going to be really good this year. Heard sucks that y'all lost uh, Spencer Strider for the year, but y'all are still looking pretty year. good. Um, hope, hopefully Max Freed can start to pick it up for y'all. Uh, that being said, um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing else that should happen to this interpreter except he should go straight to jail. And uh, really? again, right. um, uh, I I mentioned this and it turned out that, I, you know, I, I I mean, Flo, come on, man. I, I know what I'm talking about when I know what I'm talking about. Okay, right? Okay, all right. Omar. That Otani was not going to get a scratch on him for this. Mm. And what come- happened? This interpreter took the whole damn thing. So, um, Otani is getting off scot free and he's playing really well to start the season. Quiet, so, um, the team isn't doing that great, but he can still uh, pull them back into contention. And they're still in first place, technically, with a one game over 500 record. Um, but yeah, the interpreter should go straight to jail. Do not collect $200. Do not pass go. Uh, ain't none of that happening. Um, and right. as for Otani, Otani's not going to see any punishment. Otani's going to get off. And keep, and keep going. Pretty much got uh, free, right? Yeah. 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 So, yes, definitely. Yeah. Un- unscathed as the unscathed. term. Oh, unscathed. Say, yes. you remember the, con- <laughs> remember the good old days, fellas, when we took our athletes down? You know, we built them up and then we took Let's them down. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the good old days. These, these guys, they can't take that tone. They can't take that, Tony. They're, they're too soft. Yeah. They, 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 be, they, be, the they be la, la flopping. You know, you know they'd be, fl- they be flopping away. Hey, flopping hey, away. Yeah. Don't do that, man, like that. Why are you going to do that, man, like that? No, no, no. Flo, right. Why are, gonna, why are you going to do that Flo. to our guest, man? That's messed up. It's Tony, boy. Tony said he's like LeBron James. Oh, he be- uh, no, 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 he, no, no, that no. was a joke, by the way. He doesn't really like LeBron James. Man. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I thought he did. Oh, okay. It, right. it, yeah, it was a reverse psychology I or something. Full fledged war going on with the LeBron, LeBron fans, man. LeBron yeah, fans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he yeah he be fighting LeBron with them. I see him online yeah. all the time. <laughs> yeah, be fighting with the LeBron fans. They, all they, right, they anything nice. final for uh, MLB uh, before we move on? Just a little couple of NFL things, uh, Omar. We're gonna get to this basketball season. Okay. No, I mean uh, it's been it's been pretty good. You should see the Dodgers. Uh, obviously, they have a positive progression in their yeah, record because too. there's no way that there's yeah, but they're only one game above 500 and they should be way better. Yeah. There's no no right. way that you have Mookie Betts, Otani, and Freeman all playing at a high yeah. level and you don't play well. So, so they're underperforming in your opinion one. right now. Underperforming. Yes. Okay. And just real quick, just because I'm a, you know, I'm a Texas fan. Do you think Houston's going to get out of this funk? Because they're still in last place. Oh, man. Yeah, you asked me this at the beginning of the year, and I told you that I thought they would, but uh, they're yeah. still just really, really scuffling along at a 7-14 and 14 record. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be tough. Uh, the longer the longer you get closer to May and you're in that big of a hole, it's hard right. to dig in the dig in those dog hard days of summer when it starts to get hot right. in Houston. It's going to be real hard. Man, I let's hope. Hey, hey, Omar, it's going to be real about that minute, May, man, when it gets hot. Yeah, yeah. Tough, man. yeah. <laughs> I just hope they stay in this funk. That's. What... <laughs> That's... I was gonna say. Uh, oh, yeah. I, think, I, I, I knew you would say something like that, Flo. I, I just know how you are. I think for a long time the Astros were accustomed to the Rangers being the little brother, and last season the little mm. brother finally got his lick back. Finally, now hey, Astros, the little Astros... brother finally came in and. <laughs> so, That's and exactly said, said, right. Lean forward, Astros. Got it to him. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, little brother you know, finally. Some, back somebody's here. You know, yeah, yeah, I know. What happened? <laughs> Mom. <laughs> right? Yep. Exactly. Yep. You know him. You love him. You love to hate him. He's here. The one, the only. Montaya. Hot take. Jake. Oh, let me get him in because I'm got. i in a different. There we go. There he is. The yeah. goat is here. The goat is here. What? The goat is here. Whoa, what? The, the, goat. the oh, horse's oh, ass oh, is oh, here. What? what do you mean the goat? The goat, the goat. What's he talking the about? Is he talking about? Oh, Billy goat. Billy goat. Billy goat. That's what kind of goat you're. Billy goat. No. Oh. Come on, Jay. Don't do that tonight, Jay. Come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. I really want to cook you tonight, Jake. I want to cook you. Cook him. Cook him. All right, let's go, man. 
Did you say you was a Laker fan in Miami? I would go back to baseball, but I, I don't want I don't want to hear Jake and his Yankees so, talk. So, so Jake, we all know is a uh, is a uh, a bandwagon hopper. He's a no, uh, not at all. He's a he's he's a front he's a front runner as we yeah. like to call uh, those he's people. A, <laughs> hey, except when it comes to the Broncos, Omar. That's you know about it. So yeah, funny? that's okay. his only. Omar <laughs> prayed, I guess, for the past week and a half that Jimmy Butler could get hurt. And boy, did his oh, prayers are answered. He's over there. Uh, what are you talking happy about? As that no, one, no one wanted Jimmy to get hurt. You know what's <laughs> hilarious about that, Jake? Is is that not only did I not want that, right? I actually, when I was watching the Bulls game, I was like, I do not want to see us sweep the Bulls in four games. I'd much rather have Miami come to town and let me right. see my boy Trips J, Jaime Hawkins Jr., from UCLA, eight clap. Let's go, Hey, boys. come on now. Uh, and Save the NBA Jimmy stuff gets, for a minute. I'm, I'm hoping Jimmy Butler gets better, and I want to see a good too. series. So no, I Jimmy did Butler. not root for that. Uh, okay. But I still we'll think NBA that in a minute. this series is over without a Boy, if the Butler, Celtics man, win this talk. finals, is there an asterisk behind it? Have, have oh, it? asterisk? I don't think so. Oh, no, no, no. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why do you continue to do this week after week? You do hey, this every week. Time out. You bring him in. This, you bring him on the show. You know his judgment is clouded. Why you keep doing this? No, yeah. I'm, I'm doing this, bro. We'll, we'll talk NBA that, in a minute. Save last... it for the NBA. Topic, Go ahead. Yeah, I think Tony was. All right, to so... say something. Tony was what were you trying to say, Tony? Oh, I was uh, just saying. I, I do believe that the Boston Celtics may not have been wishing for Jimmy Butler to be. In. Uh, but they, they're happy. They're happy. A prayer answer, not the prayer. <laughs> wow. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll talk a little NBA in a minute. Let's just do a couple of NFL topics. Uh, right now, we're going to go in a little bit of NFL right now. A couple of topics. NFL is king, right, Jake? <laughs> NFL yeah, is king. Right. Oh. His team is not the king. His team His ain't team ain't, but NFL is king. The team trashes. <laughs> so, the team. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> Recently came out, a uh, New England Patriots owner uh, told the Falcons owner, Arthur Blank, Ooh. that if he was to hire former head coach Bill Belichick, he actually Arthur Blank came to Robert Kraft about this. He said that he's not to be – he can't trust Bill. Uh, Kraft also reportedly told Blank that never have a warm conversation with him. You'll never have a warm conversation. He, and he felt betrayed by the six-time Super Bowl uh, winning coach – and uh, the final in the final seasons of his 24 year career, there, Kraft stated that he found Bill Belichick to be extremely difficult to work with, and that the coach was kind of stubborn and in addition was very arrogant. And Kraft believed that Belichick is not worthy of the trust. Wow, that's crazy! Shut so, fight. uh <laughs> right, kick a man while he's hey, down. Hey, kick hey, a man while hey, he's down. Easily. Go ahead, Jake. Robert you haven't been on is... here. What do you think about this? Uh, this latest report of what Robert Kraft has talked about Bill Belichick. You think he's stabbing the back, throwing him under the bus? What's going on? <clears throat> what do you think, Jake? Who are you asking me first? Yeah, no, you, haven't been, you met on. Let me tell you something. You I'm getting pissed at this, and let me tell you something. Okay, that's bull crap. And let, and here's the other thing. What happened? What happened recently? What was Flo just screaming about that just came out on on uh, Apple? Uh, what was it? The Apple? What's it called? The Dynasty? Oh, the, uh, Apple TV. Apple TV. That Dynasty. was through Robert Kraft's perspective. It was beyond stupid. This man I mean, gave Bell, six was, rings. He was he was interviewed in it. He came off kind of grumpy. No, 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 no. That was a Robert a, a Robert Kraft. It was pro Robert Kraft and pro Tom Brady. <laughs> it was a yeah. straight way to th throw Bill Belichick down the dirt. And it's embarrassing because he gave you. So this conversation is just rubbing salt in the wound. Is that what you're saying? You know what Robert Kraft needs to worry about? The next Chinese woman he's trying to sleep with. Because let me tell Come you something. Wow! Wow! I'm going to sleep. Wow! Hey, I'm going to sleep. You want to talk about the best you. of all time? Oh you let him God. do this every that week. No. That's what are you talking that's about? No, I like oh that. I'm all in on that. No, oh, wow. he has all no right, that. no right to talk down on <laughs> Belichick, who gave him six rings. That team was wow. not nothing without them. Without him, especially. Well, especially the first three. Wait, I, whoa, I agree whoa, whoa. With that. Especially or no, especially okay, Omar. Part, 
Okay. No, Especially the first three for what sure. What was his record without Brady? What was his record without Brady? We well, didn't have a quarterback. with the Jimmy G and go 4-0. and I saw him with Matt Castle uh, and went 11-5. What, yep, that's a good five. point. That Matt Castle, that Matt Castle season always blows me out the water. I uh, it does. That. That's crazy. Go ahead, yeah, next he, person. I'm what do you think? Right what now. do you think, Tony? What do you think about this? Right, is he Tony. throwing him one of the? <laughs> does he deserve it? What? Do you, what is up the crap here? I agree uh, with the goat, man. I agree with oh, the goat. don't ever call him that. Uh, don't don't call him that. <laughs> don't give him that <laughs> ego. Don't, like hey, Tony, all, all you doing like is clapping guy. him up. You clapping him up. He don't, don't know what he be talking about. He don't know what he be talking about. He just be talking. He's they're eating right now. Too. I just want to be respectful. I'm trading careful. Okay, yeah. Just call him Hot Take Jake. You know, that, that's about as good as he gets. Nah. Hot Take. Not Take. Hot Take. I'm just saying that's, that's, as good as, that's as good as it gets for him. We call him Hot Take Jake. That's as, what, that goat is totally overboard. Well, go ahead, Tony. Go ahead, Tony. I learned from the You bold enough to walk into a room and proclaim you the goat. You probably, you probably are. <laughs> I'm not gonna oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> at, at least we can say he has a, a, a level of irrational confidence that most people will never have. Borderline right. delusional, you know. Off yeah, the borderline exactly. delusional. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. Yeah, exactly. Bro, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> that's uh, borderline. He's yeah. over the line on that one. Uh, All right. Problem. Go ahead, Tony. Robert Kraft situation, man, uh, it is disgusting uh, to, for him to just uh, disrespect not only a legend like Bill Belichick, but I think Bill Belichick, we all know that the Patriots got had a lot of drama going on, you know, but Bill right. Belichick is a real one. Tom Brady is a real one. They kept it in house. You know, Robert Kraft has been a, a, kind of been the one letting the, the things leak, if you will, because his ego. And this reminds me, uh, this reminds me a lot of my Chicago Bulls way back when, when Michael Jordan right. and was winning the championship mm. and Jerry Krause all of a sudden yep. comes out of the, the dark shadows yep. like, hey, I was the reason we won championship. Like, bro, no, you was not. <laughs> you know? We just met you. We oh, no, he, not Tony B, let's be fair. He said organizations win championships. Yes, and I feel like Robert <laughs> is coming from that same, that same, you know, school of thought. Oh, okay. Hey, you know, yeah, you and Tom, y'all contributed, but I put these teams together. I signed these players. That's how Robert uh -huh. Kraft looked at this. Okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, but at that point, it's all ego-driven. And for him to, you know, uh, sabotage uh, Bill Belichick's job opportunities like that. Right. Um, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. But I don't know if you heard, Flo. I don't know if you heard. I've heard some rumors what? behind the scenes. I don't know if, I, if, if you're, you're cool with me releasing this news. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. I've heard a rumor, all right? I'm in Texas as well. I mean, I'm amongst the Cowboy Nation that uh, Stephen Jones is behind the scenes talking to Bill Belichick about bringing him <laughs> on to be the Cowboys coach next year. And Mike McCarthy is on a certified, no more hmm. debate, a certified high seat. If he don't get it together this uh, season, hmm. Bill Belichick will be the coach in 2025. Breaking He's news! Stephen Jones, Breaking not Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> Are you in Dallas? I Jerry knows yet. I just <laughs> oh, Jerry don't know that yet, huh? Hey, <laughs> he's not. We sure. love Only the Breaking Steven. News stories. Yeah. <laughs> been here. Okay. I've been doing my work and, and getting okay. close to people. So I, I've just heard that. Let's see. Okay. All right. Hey. So that's you a see rumor that, Jake? out there. You see that, Jake? Those are those are. That's Tony coming in with real. Incredible sources, not just his friend Dave from down the street like you do. Omar, Omar, Dave at the Walla Cooler. Last year, last yeah. year, he kept throwing in my face about Stefan Diggs. I ended up calling that out for hey. All I got to do is I, I'm an accurate guesser. Yeah. Oh, an accurate guesser. <laughs> and watch Stefan Diggs and the Texans go off this year. So, what do you think? What do you think, Ken, about this? Uh, what Crafts had to say about Belichick. You agree with uh, Tony and uh, Jake? So, so, so Chloe, let me say this right here. Yeah. When you're no longer useful for the organization, they'll dog you out. They'll spit on you. They'll mm. talk about you. They'll, they'll throw your name in the mud. 24 years. Right. Okay. No, no, no. Listen, Flo, you okay. listen to the point of what I'm saying is Go ahead. when you Go ahead. win, it's all good. When you win, it's all good. But when okay. you start losing and you ain't bringing no chips in, let's talk about it. Okay. That's fair. Mm. Come on. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so Flo, when we, when, let, let, let me say this and I'm going to be done. When okay. we look at the Dallas Cowboys organization, we won that in 95. Right? Okay. Jack on the hot seat. So, what it, it, it takes winning, winning, well, winning. Arthur's winning. on the hot seat, apparently. <laughs> Man, McCarthy, I disagree with my boy. I, I think McCarthy might have one more year in him. 
We okay. need a quarterback. We need the right skill player to win the game. We should have got Derrick Henry. Why would he get Henry? Free agency was wide open. Make it make sense, Flo. Saquon. Yeah. You get nobody, man. I'm on, man. Go back there. <laughs> I gotta read yeah, that. Jerry, Jerry, I'm telling you, Jerry's got a guy in the draft. I think it's the Florida State guy, but I'm not sure. Uh, I can't remember his name off the top of my head now. But the guy from Florida State is it Benson? Anyway, he's got. I think he's got a, a running back in the draft that he's got his eye on. And to be fair, Jerry's usually pretty good in the draft for the most part. So, I mean, he's not good at the other stuff as far as so. Let me, uh, so coach, let me ask you this question. Team, but let he's pretty good question, in the draft. Bro. Yeah. What is, what is the most integral <laughs> most integral integral part that we need on our team? What do we need the most right now to succeed okay. and get get over the hump? I'll answer that question. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. We I'll win, we win, we win. Get to the playoffs and what happens after that? But that, I told you that was a curse. That was the Tony Romo. I mean, that was the uh, Jimmy Johnson curse. Come on. Now bro. he's in the ring of honor. So now that the curse starts to die down. No, that should have <laughs> ended last year then. Get out of here with that. No, I'm no, right. no. I, a curse, you know, you got to recover from that kind of a third. You don't get another year on that. 30 year curse. <laughs> a 30 year curse. It takes a year to kind of get to. You get one year. Off. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Omar, what do you think about All this? Right, enough Bell Cowboys talk. Uh, enough real Cowboys quick, talk. I was going to. I was going to add this on there, but uh, to be fair to, to uh, Robert Kraft, Arthur Blank is a good friend of his. Doesn't he owe it to him to be honest about Bill Belichick, or which is he just throwing him Bill out under the bus? So, Omar, I know you have no lost love between you and Bill Belichick, but what do you think? Not at all, and I am, I am, I know that uh, you know everybody before me said that it's a travesty that he's being. <laughs> You know, being given a open grave, Doug, for him or something. Like, play me a freaking fiddle. I don't care how Bill Belichick feels. Bury oh, no. him. How do you, what do you call him, though? Damn dirt. What? Oh, oh Bill, Bill Cheat. Yeah, I should, Bill him, I should use his proper, his proper name for him. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, look, he's been he cheated to get multiple championships over a long period of time. He's 29 and 38 since he kicked Tom Brady out of the door. Shout out my co-host uh, Detroit Mel in one of our shows we're coming out with soon. Y'all be tuning in for it. It's called Storyline Sports. Uh, we okay. do an episode on Bill Belichick, and we expose okay. the bad blood that he had with Robert Kraft and how. He ruined this uh, this franchise's chance for any other championships, which, by the way, oh, wow. don't forget Tom Brady went to Tampa and won a championship the first year. So like um, little, it is all no. Bill Belichick's fault. And and you know what? Good riddance. Don't let the door hit you with a good load. I hope that show attention. is very honest and not just biased because of who he hates. I hope that. I mean, I, I don't care about the show. Good. I don't care about the show. I know that they got deducted draft picks for spying on other teams. I know that they got caught deflating footballs in the middle of Super That's Bowl. Tom Brady's I know issue, that they have done. De- okay, hey. Tom Brady was the one behind the video camera filming. No, no, no. No, they are talking about the football. All Tom Brady. Yeah, that's well, a staff. I, I said both. That was a staff member, all right? Yeah, I'm uh, sure Bill Belichick didn't know anything about that, though, right? Uh, Bill Belichick with a with a with a nineteen seventies like eight cam like a little. <laughs> All I know is the Patriots got better. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm kind of in the middle. I I don't know. I think I feel like Robert's being kind of uh, honest with Arthur Blank because no, he is, yeah, there are bro. there are good friends. But the only thing I, I don't know, the only thing that makes me suspicious about it is that. How does this get out? If he's really talking to Arthur Blank, is Arthur Blank talking? How did this reports come out? So uh, that's my only thing. If something leaks, usually it's somebody wanted it to leak. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, that's the only thing that ca- causes me to pause. And I think he well, was a I'm bit sure Arthur Blank enough. wanted it to leak because he wants he wants it to come out that crap was the reason that he made the decision not to hire him. Although reports okay, have well, also surfaced that that all the coaches on the team or or all the executives ranked all the coaches and apparently right. bill belichick was not in the top three of any of the executive choices for head coach okay that's fair i'm just i'm just saying i, I don't know if what where, where it's leaking from but somebody i wanted to leak and i'm, I'm thinking maybe crafted i don't know that arthur blank would want it to leak if he has his friend i don't think he'd want it to leak but i don't know who knows but yeah i, I think he did kind of throw him under the bus but we'll see i mean i mean uh, Omar, hey, Flo, can, can, can I say this right here, man? Beep, beep, 
Back that bus hey, up, baby. Run it back. Can I say this right here, man? Go ahead, Cam. Can I say this home? Okay, go ahead, Cam. As, as, as I stated before, man, when, you, when you're not winning, you become irrelevant. The Patriots have not won in the past two or three years, right? Belichick right. is irrelevant. So, to be honest, and, and I'm going to say what I want to say. If it had been a Tony Dungy or somebody else, they would have fired him. They would have fired a Tony Dungy. They would have fired a Raheem Morris. They would have fired a brother. Guarantee my thing is, let him go. I don't know about that. Come on, man. Come on, man. Not a Tony well, Dungy. If you're, if you're successful, I don't think so. No, oh, well, an African, uh, uh, an, uh, an African American uh, player, uh, athlete. That's true. Any, look at in general, look at Pittsburgh. Much less a coach. He, he, he hasn't gone in Boston. So. He hasn't done very well. Look at the pit, look at Pittsburgh. He, he has never had a season. What are you talking about? But it doesn't matter. He hasn't he brought in championships in a while. They haven't looked very good. He's had a winning season since he's been there. But he they haven't looked very good in the last few years because they have a winning season. No, he's been to the playoffs every season. But they haven't looked good at all. It's, 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 it's something. It's something that. It's something that can be asked, and it's something okay. that can be explored. Okay. Um, that's, I do that's believe fair, though, I that any organization, if let, let's say that it was a that he was African American and he won seven well, there, uh, championships, I do believe he, he probably would have been given some leeway. But you know, it's it just as much no. I mean, but that's just what it is. So I I, yeah. I, I don't know necessarily that I agree completely, but, yeah. but that's it fair. is something that needs to be asked and does need to be explored in the topic. On the table. That's fair. Okay. All right. Uh, let's move on to the uh, NFL draft will be on Thursday. Hey, let's do a show Thursday, man. Oh, no. I never will do a show Thursday. Uh, by know. the way, everybody missed my Boston joke, and I don't want to go back and retell it, but it was pretty funny. So if you want to hit that was rewind it? on the stream. Okay. There's a laugh for you. Yeah, <laughs> There's a, I'll laugh twice for you. All right, Is, I'm sure it was funny, Omar. Okay, all right. So here we go. Uh, Thanks. Uh, uh, so this draft, a lot of people talking about. I know Jake has mentioned it. Uh, could it be like the 1983 draft where six QBs were taken? A record. Uh, we remember that draft in '83. Maybe just being Tony, but uh, it was uh, John Elway, uh, Todd Blackledge, who. And uh, also Jim Kelly, Tony do? Easton, and uh, Ken O'Brien out of Cal State, and of course Dan Marino, the last to be taken there, towards the end of the first round. Six quarterbacks taken in 1983 draft. Uh, the closest thing we've had uh, recently was 21 2021 draft with five QBs taken. Uh, that was Trevor Lawrence, uh, Zach Wilson, Trey Lance. Justin Fields and Mac Jones, and only one is a current starter. I'm rest their backups at this point. So it didn't work out very well in 2021, but uh, there was a rumor that uh, Sean Payton uh, would give a King's ransom, supposedly, for one of the top mm. QBs, including trading past the Super Bowl. Hey, Jay. What, what do you think, Ken? Oh, you want to talk about it? You want Jake to go first? Man, let Jake go first since he know everything about football. Oh. Let him go first. <laughs> are we going to have six quarterbacks drafted, Jake? What are you thinking? Yes, we are. Okay. And I told okay. you, there's going to be two oh, here we go. great ones, and one will survive because of where he lands. Let me tell you it's something. Gonna... Okay. I told you this. Sean Payton is no idiot. He knows this is the best QB draft class for the next decade. And right now, what? you put all your eggs in a basket for right now. I mean, that could be true. You have to do it. I don't care. It Let go of pass or ten. Throw some first round picks away. We already made a what? mistake by oh picking. Wow. No, I'm telling you. Wow. Okay. We already made a mistake by grabbing. Your, your, your defense is your strength, though. Your defense no. is your strength, dude. Why would you get rid of Patrick? What did our defense do to do last year, Omar? That's what y'all think like. That's what they saved you. They saved your butts oh, last year. Well, for guess what? We season. didn't make the playoffs, Omar. And just well, like y'all except, want this. Except that time y'all got blown out by the <laughs> by the Dolphin 70. Y'all remember that? When they dropped that yeah, 70 up, burger man. on the front. Man. <laughs> that, that was a hater. 72. <laughs> 70. Woo. All I'm saying is Sean Payton knows what he's doing. We're going to so, do the unthinkable. So Omar, I mean, so what? Uh, hey. Okay. Are you going to move up, Jake, or are you just going to take them at what are you? No, 12? we're moving up. We're moving up, and I hope with the move up, 
because I think that idiot we'll take, uh, commanders. I know you, I know you talk Drake to Sean May. Payton regularly. I think we're going to get Drake May. Okay. Drake May. Oh, Drake May. Drake May. Oh, Drake May. Drake May. Best quarterback in the. The best I hope, in the draft. You know what? I hope you take Drake May. He's he's the worst of the lot, to be honest. Oh, you're opinion. an idiot. But anyway, man, Drake uh, May trade, yeah, man. He's the worst of the lot. Anyway, oh, so who's your six then, Jake? Give me your six that'll be taken in the first round, and then we'll go to the everybody else see what they think. Caleb, Drake. Okay. I'm gonna Jayden go uh, McCarthy. Jayden Daniels. You don't have to go in order necessarily. Okay. McCarthy. Right. Yeah, just give me the Daniels. Six. Bo Nix. And who's that last one? Michael Penix. Okay. Okay. So the current top six rated top quarterbacks, six. basically. That's the only ones that are going to go. Now they're, we'll they're say this. Uh, okay. Who's okay. the Notre Dame quarterback? Oh, what's his name? Uh, he is a. He is Sam hey, Hartman. Sam Hartman. Listen to me. Listen to me. That man looks like he's going to be the shock. He's the Russell Wilson of a decade ago. Oh, my goodness. You heard it here first. <laughs> no, remember whenever the Seattle took them? Yeah, and, and Flo, I tell you every week, Flo, it gets worse and worse every week, man. <laughs> it gets worse and worse every week, man. Tony, the Savant. Likely to be, he's more likely to be Brady Quinn, fool. Anyways, go ahead, Tony. Go anyway, anyway Tony, what do you think? <laughs> right? You think there'll be six Shut quarterbacks second, brother? Um, I don't see why not. You know, this okay. is a, a quarterback hungry league. Uh, the NFL is has, has become, but I agree with what with Jake said, man. I think maybe wow. it's about where I'm, I'm so, so oh, good with the media hyping of young talent. Okay, Caleb, all of this. Uh, uh, well, Caleb Williams only one that's kind of overblown, but I, I'm I want to see where these guys land and also okay. uh, what they can do now. I will say this as a Packers fan from Chicago, my dad, my oh. family, my Bears fans, okay. I'm excited to see what they're orchestrating. That's so if they get Caleb, okay. I think that Caleb is the one guy that's showing promise out of this league. But Dayton Daniels, Michael Penix, you know, JJ McCarthy, even if they if you land in New England, Washington, <laughs> one of these places, we always see uh, Las Vegas. Don't oh. land there either. Oh. It's, it's gonna take a couple years. It Don't might be better. Us. <laughs> you gotta throw the black and silver in there, man. Anytime by the way, Tony. Up. By the way, Tony. Quick side point. I have y'all in the Super Bowl next year. Hey, my. I think y'all are the Ooh. surprise Ooh. team of the NFC next Packers? year. Packers. Uh, I have the Packers I, in the Super I mean, Bowl. Josh Jacobs. That's not a far off. off. I could season. see that's him not... definitely making the conference championship. Mm, maybe, no. maybe we'll see. Get ready. I don't know. They're a good. They're a good one young year guys. guys. One year guys with quarterbacks. You, you got to be better than just for one year. So. Uh, I said that in the past. I've, I've been, it's been true for the most part. Can I throw this out there, Flo? Just go, is this go ahead. go ahead, Tony. Go ahead. You know, out We're in the frozen, and we are we are known for our quarterback development. Uh, and and, and every time we get a quarterback, they pick up only for like 20, 25 years. I mean, come on. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, we got a three, yeah, we got a nice track record, but. When Brett Favre left, Aaron yeah. Rodgers picked up right where he was. And as soon as Aaron Rodgers, now, I don't know if y'all get this feeling. When you're looking at Jordan Love, he looks well, like prime Aaron Rodgers. He doesn't look like development Aaron Rodgers. Two thousand. Okay. He I like, think he becomes a top three now, now, quarterback in the NFC after this year. I will say this, Tony. I was the only one back when he was drafted that said Jordan Love will be a good, a, a really good starter in the he? league. Oh, He's yeah. the heir apparent. I did back then. No one, no one believed no me. Listen, bro. That's a good call for But yeah, yeah. But That's I'm just letting decide. you know. Uh, Ken, what do you think uh, about the six quarterbacks? You think six will get taken, or you think uh, Jake's a little ambitious along with Tony here? Mm. There's a lot of quarterbacks in the first round. Ninety percent of these quarterbacks are garbage. Wait for next year's class. Wait for Shadur really? Sanders. Wait for Shadur Sanders and that class coming out next year. Good quarterbacks. There are only six teams that can oh, wait Flo. for the round. So, Flo, here, here, here's what I want you to understand is you got guys okay. going the first round. What, 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 what do the teams bring to the table? You look, you look at the Bears. What do the Bears bring to the table? Do they got an offensive I mean, line, defensive line? Do they they got Mike, team, go get Mike Wick. That's a pretty good re receiver. We ain't got Mike That's Wick. what you got to think about. <laughs> just, just, just like Bryce Young went, from, okay. went to Carolina. What he did? Got his ass sacked. 20, 30 times because they, Carolina game. was terrible. It was in shambles. Yeah, <laughs> Carolina oh, was in shambles. Oh, all, all, all I'm saying is, I, I get tired of this. every year the draft. They pick these quarterbacks to go to first round, 
pop two or three guys go to first round. And what are they? What are they doing? Blame out. Honestly, what what are these guys doing, well, bro? I mean, that's fair because most quarterbacks. But uh, this is supposedly, uh, according to Jake, maybe I don't know if Tony agrees, but this is going to be a, a league. Uh, I mean, a, a draft that's going to have some good oh, quarterbacks. So, let me ask you this so you think only one quarterback at this draft, flow and it's going to be comparable to the '83 draft or I think the 2011 draft, where you had Hall of Fame players throughout the whole entire first round. I'm telling okay. you right now, we're okay. watching the Hall of Fame grabs. I would go and scream for some first round. Picks. So, how many of these six is going to be long term starters, though? I told I mean, you, we know we that are making it for sure. Six. Um, three for well, we sure. Maybe one or two. Okay. Yeah. I, know. I mean, that's been the that's been the norm. Maybe one Can't or two. See, not everybody's making a mistake in grabbing an ACL torn injury type quarterback like Kirk Cousins hey, in his hey, 18th hey, season, hey, hoping hey, that they're going to get something. Let me strain you. Let me straighten you right now. The Falcons are the best out. team in the NFC South right now. Right now, they are the best team in the NFC South. Congratulations. You're the best team in the worst division. Congrats. <laughs> what you, I say, I say, uh, I tell you what, Jake. Jake, y'all won't win nine games this year. Your team hey, won't win nine games. We right see y'all this year. <laughs> we get a free dub. Let's go. <laughs> we got two bye weeks this year. What do you mean? I, wow. Omar, I want you to snipe. I want you to snip this out. Snip this out, Omar. Yeah. I want you to make a snippet of what he just said. Snip it. We'll see. You gonna eat oh, all the words, Jake? Because I'm gonna be on all this. Atlanta gonna cook them. <laughs> I'll beat y'all by twenty. Oh my god! By twenty. Omar, Omar, Can't bring wait. some sanity here. Is this gonna be a <laughs> quarterback first round? What do you think? You're yeah, let me uh, bring some feeling. let me bring some sanity I don't think so. to this conversation because clearly horrible hot take Jake took us off the rails a long time ago. <laughs> um, off the rails. <laughs> the, the problem the problem with this is yeah. you you mentioned this briefly, Flo, is that the NFL is such a and Tony mentioned it too, such a quarterback hungry, not even needy, just hungry uh league right. that they right. will they will forego fortunes, draft fortunes. They will forego uh, epic draft positions, and they will even forego epic players that are guaranteed to be good, like a Marvin Harrison Jr. Um, mm -hmm. uh, to draft quarterbacks that are, as you mentioned, hit or miss. It's usually one, maybe two that are going to pan out. And if you were right. to have six drafted, which I don't believe it's going to happen, actually, I think you would be pretty you would have to be pretty stupid to pick Bo Nix in the first round I don't think Bo Nix is going to be that great wow. I believe he's a career backup okay. at best I don't believe he has oh, he's wow. should be drafted in the first round I will also say this and only because of his injury history I wouldn't draft Michael Penix in the first round oh, he's had way wow. too many injuries and as a person myself who has torn my ACL multiple times from a previous football injury I can tell right. you that it's very, very hard to come back from. And I the can't water put jug my fortunes on, of a franchise river. on a, a guy who could, again, tear his ACL or do something. Okay, at any point that's fair, Omar. But, sorry, but they've, they've, they've gotten, I think he's probably got better medical attention than you have, though. Don't you think? Sure. Better That's quality. probably true. Okay. That's probably and true. Rehab, but uh, again, at the, same, at the same time, you don't want to spend a first round pick and I'm saying that as a Raiders fan, and they're the ones that are probably going to move up to pick them in the end of the first round. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, I again, I would go with the top four, and and I would and I wouldn't even draft. I know McCarthy's hype and his stock has gone way up, and now he's looking at being drafted at number four, right. like the Broncos yeah. and the Vikings are looking to trade up right. four to get, we'll him. get him. I don't think don't McCarthy's know. that great. I'm sorry. He played under, okay. as I mentioned before, he played under a system at Michigan that had a run, a great run game, yeah. an awesome offensive line, and a stellar right. defense. He's not that okay. great either, and I wouldn't draft him in the first round hey, either. I, 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 I would have only a question. Omar, I got a question. I got okay. a question for the sports professor. Omar, who do you give me your top three quarterbacks that's coming out of this class? Who do you think? Who do you, who do you think are going to be the top three prominent? Performing quarterbacks coming out of this class, starters. Yeah, Star, like, I mean, I think ready to go. I think obviously, yeah. I Long think term obviously starters. you have Caleb. Yeah, I mean, you have Caleb Williams. 
uh, okay. is is going to Chicago where they have not had a uh, quarterback since Jim McMahon. Uh, I know Tony can can probably attest to that being in the same division there. And hey, Jay Cutler. Um, so, Jay Cutler was there. Uh, Jay Cutler. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, all the, the old Vandy <laughs> grad. I can't be mad at my fellow Vandy guy. But uh, <laughs> um, no, I, I, I think that him going there, right, they're looking for something. And if he can have a modicum of, of, of success, uh, m- even more than Justin Fields had, eight, nine win season starting off, then he'll be able to forge that into a long-term career, a la the right. aforementioned uh, Jay Cutler. Um, also, okay. I think Jaden Daniels has has the real skills, man. That kid's talent is, is immense. Uh, his speed, his agility, um, mm-hmm. the way that he can navigate the pocket uh, to throw a right. pass. I think he's going to be really awesome, and I think he fits well, actually, with Cliff Kingsbury in right. Washington. And then okay. finally, um, I know Jake is hating on him, but uh, I've heard from all of the the my sources that were connected with the draft, they have have a very very high grade on Drake May. Um, and so I'm going to take it from no, they're hating as, on him. He no, likes no, no, he likes Drake May. He wants like the Broncos Drake to take Drake May. Oh, was it flow? Okay, well, one of y'all was. Yeah, Either was way, yeah, um, was I'm going to trust my sources that know okay. the draft very well and know that process, and I'm going to say that Drake May will have a okay. trust in my sources too. I'm not okay, so I'm going to agree with uh, tell, to tell Dave with, to get with, better sources. <laughs> I'm going to agree a little bit with Jake, a little bit with Omar. I think that there will be uh, six quarterbacks drafted. Maybe uh, well, they'll probably going to draft more than that in the whole round, but I, I think. Th- that it's going to be over two rounds. Uh, you, you'll get a lot of quarterbacks drafted in the first two rounds. Uh, I don't think there'll be six in the first round. And and I, I agree a little bit with Jake. Uh, uh, well, I agree that there won't be six, so I agree with Omar on that point. But what I'm saying is I agree with Jake that there's going to be at least three that make it. I don't think it's going to be Drake May. I think Caleb and Jaden are my two. And I'm, I'm leaning Penix despite the injuries or J.J. McCarthy. I think J.J. McCarthy getting kind of get the, the three three long term starters. I don't know if they had drafted in the top three, but I think those will be the three long. In the end, whoever they get drafted, those will be your three long term. Uh, I think J.J. McCarthy gets a little bit of uh, you know from people who are outside uh, of the uh, the inner circles, you know, because there he's been moving up according to a lot of draft experts, uh, and maybe there's a reason for that. Like you say, Omar, you you'll believe in your people, you know, or you. But you got to believe in the draft experts that have been talking about him and moving him up. Uh, I think the reason he moves up is because he's been uh, in a in a he's the only guy in a pro system uh, with under under Harbaugh, and I think that uh, right. he did a la Michael help. Jordan, a la Michael Jordan. Uh, they said the only one who could keep Jordan from scoring was Dean Smith, right? Because he he didn't he, he didn't open up right. his offense, and I think that the, right. I think that's the truth for Harbaugh. I think that he's been kind of kept under wraps a little bit. Okay. Uh, I think he's got he's got a little bit of quickness, and I think he'll show that in the next at the next level a little bit. I don't know if he'll be the best coming out of this, but I think he'll be a long term starter in the NFL. So All right, I let's move on for, to I, yeah. Go ahead. I, I, go ahead. I think for those last two that you mentioned. For McCarthy and Penix, I believe that those two factors, if anything, would be what would help them succeed. Would be A, that McCarthy, that McCarthy was in a pro system with Harbaugh and a pro coach, right. and that Penix right. has experience. He's been around right. college for four years right. now, played at multiple stops, had multiple systems right. that he played in, and so he has that right. experience. So, right. Okay. They were to All right. Any, any final thoughts on this? Uh, we probably have, we might have an NFL draft canteen. We'll see if we can do one. Is everybody in on that on Thursday? Can y'all? Yeah, let's do it Thursday, man. I mean, could everybody? Hey, Omar. Hey, hey, Omar. So, Omar, my, 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 my time, my, I'll, I'll tell you offline, my timeline has adjusted a little bit, but we'll talk about that after the show. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's do Can Thursday, you do man. On Thursday? Can you do the draft on Thursday, Jake? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So what, my, my thoughts were probably Are we just going early yeah, then? Maybe. We're just going before going the draft, early. Right? Yeah, before the draft, like thirty minutes and maybe just look at the first Yeah. Maybe five picks, you know, just depends okay. how long cool. that takes. Right, right. But no more than five that because it's gonna take you know, it's gonna last forever. So but yeah, we'll look at the first few as they pick them and kind of evaluate how that's gonna work and We'll go through that. Maybe we'll do it at 45 minutes, an hour or something. All right. Okay. Let's go to the NBA, the play-in. 
games that happened uh, since we had our last show. And uh, we know the playoffs have started, but now that the Warriors are out, <clears throat> is it time to go into rebuild mode or at least wow. make some big dramatic changes for Golden mm-hmm. State? Uh, there may be several reasons to break up the team. Who knows? Uh, what do you guys think? Is it time to rebuild in uh, or just reload in Golden State? What do you think, Tony? Uh, I thought <clears throat> I personally thought it was time to reload after they got that chip in 2022. Uh, okay. At last, mm-hmm. the orange, you know, right. watching. I hate to, you know, go back to my, my bulls, man, but it's just so many, so many things that happened. That was my core, my my core knowledge of learning sports because I was broken hearted right. with Jerry Krause, right. spoke Michael Jordan Bulls, right? Right. But seeing how things have unfolded in the Bay these past few years, Jerry right. Krause had a bit of foresight, man. You know, you got to realize that all good things don't last, and great things, great things, right. gentlemen, end faster than good things. So you, right. you, you okay. a, a, a spurt of greatness, especially the rest of Jerry Cross. Huh. <laughs> I was saying, rest in peace, Jerry Cross. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely rest in peace, you know, <laughs> Jerry. Uh, but, you know, as you get older, you get wiser. So uh, seeing, yeah. that, seeing that he was able to have the foresight to be like, hey, Scotty Pippen is breaking. And, and lo and behold, Scotty Pippen is breaking down. <laughs> I wanted one more year, but go ahead, Tony. Yeah, I would have liked one more year. But, you know, there's a reason why these guys are uh, NBA, NFL execs, all that kind of stuff. Right. You know, they got, right. a, got a bit of mm-hmm. knowledge right. and foresight that we – that we probably don't have, the, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, but then what's going down again? What's uh, happening? In, and this is a, as a Chicago Bulls fan, Flo. I was talking about this with a, a buddy of mine. Uh, yeah. It's been hard. So I've been vicariously living through other franchises and the, <laughs> rise, the rise of the Warriors. I was, you know, right. kind of. I got a, a sentimental. You got some Warrior jerseys back there? <laughs> no sir, no sir, no sir. Oh, now, okay, 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 okay. Steph Curry is my <laughs> Michael Jordan is the goat. Steph Curry is my goat because I've seen Steph. Curry this oh, year. okay. Literally, you know, watching him back, you know, uh, in high school. So, uh, not LeBron. He, um, you know, it's beautiful, but. uh yeah, yeah, but it's time to end this thing in the Bay, man. They should have got rid stop of messing with that man like that. They should have kept Jordan Poole, James Wiseman, all that young talent they got rid of. They should have okay. got rid of Draymond back then, in my opinion. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think, yeah. uh, Cam? Is it time to rebuild or reboot? Man, go, Golden State yeah. is done, bro. They done. Okay. Here's, the, here's the biggest issue. When you got a great organization, you got Steve Kerr. But I don't even want to give Steve Kerr all the credit. When Steve Kerr had went on an absolute, <laughs> they had another brother that was coaching. I can't think of the guy named Ballhead, black guy that wore glasses. Yeah, Mike Brown. He, Mike, Mike Brown. Brown held the organization Brown. down. And the yeah. thing about it, Mike Mike Brown held it down, and Steve Kerr took the credit for it. Luke Walker Steve too. Kerr took the credit for what other? What oh other no, you did. you know nah, you. You talking about uh you talking about um the Mark announcer. Jackson. Uh, I forgot Mark his Jackson. Name. Mark Jackson. No, not Mark, Mark Jackson. Jackson. No, I'm talking about I'm talking about the ball. Mark Jackson was the guy. coach. Yeah, Mike Brown. Brown. He was a coach right before Kurt. Mike Brown was an assistant coach. Yeah. I'm talking about the assistant coach. Oh, okay, that's what you're saying. I yeah, and he stepped saying. up and, okay. and he stepped up and took over for Kurt. So here's my thing, man. The the oh, biggest thing they got sick. in Golden State. Yeah. yeah, he was sick. And then he came back when they played the finals. Coaches that flow. He came back when they went into the finals. Like how I mean, he, was he, he, was, he was sick. He was sick. Steve Kerr has been sick. Really? You gonna, gonna do that? that? You gonna do that? I mean, you can't blame so him for that, man. Thing. He was legitimately man, sick, look, man. Look, Come look, on. Look, here's here's my thing about it. You got to rid yourself of Draymond Green. You need to rid yourself of um Clay Thompson, and, and and build around it so you can go back and win. I don't know if you can get rid of him. They're really not right. gonna play, they're not gonna pay Clay Thompson, and then you already know that Draymond Green is a problem for the organization. All right, what do you think, Jake? Is it time? What's the time for doing the? It's been time. I remember at the beginning of this plan, y'all, y'all, it was asked to us, Flo, mm-hmm. which team was going to be in there and which team was going to be out, the Lakers or the Warriors. Shocker there, I think almost everybody picked the dang Warriors. I know Canteen did. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Oh, I did? Don't yeah, you, did. You, picked the, you picked the Warriors to win like an idiot. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. It's time to let go. Let go and be gone. Okay. Draymond Green sucks. Clay okay. Thompson. Wow. I can shoot more threes than he can now. Stop it. Oh, wow. This is embarrassing. Wow. Steph Curry is by himself. If I am Steph, I, I go right to the front office and I say, tell me one reason 
Actually, tell me three reasons why I shouldn't leave this team and let it sit there and be a desert like it was before I got here. Because I'll tell you right now, this is embarrassing. I'm seeing LeBron in his 21st season about to win an NBA championship. And I got stepped What? On the other side of the oh, my God. Why is this happening? Yeah. I don't <laughs> understand. Why do we let this happen continuously? Jeff ain't on our doing show. nothing right now. He's watching. This round, Jake. Oh, my God. Struggle. <laughs> He's watching his team struggle. He's getting blown you a lot of every week. Bro, you know, that's happening every week. Every week you let him talk stupid no, and crazy sad. like he talks. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna start blaming this on you, Flo. This is this is my fault. Okay, hey. you keep letting this man on the show. You keep giving him a platform to spit this ridiculous. Entertaining, oh my god! Oh my. Hey, but I don't mean to cut you off, Jake. But the one episode—I mean, a few episodes—I've been able to catch up, y'all. You know what I mean? Jake, I, Jake wasn't on the panel, man. This is, yeah, this is a new experience for me. I didn't know this was a common occurrence. Oh no, Jake is a common. Yeah, uh, every single show, it's every, it's every, every, it's every time. We have to deal with this. No, I speak fast, and I <laughs> like. Let me finish my point before you go, Omar. Okay. <laughs> my ending point is: Steph needs to go ahead and request to trade uh, and get the hell out of there while he can. While he's still got some sense, at least, at least somebody else can take care of him right. It's embarrassing. And you know what? Warrior Nation, you should be embarrassed. You should be okay. embarrassed right now what you're looking at. You got people yeah. older than me playing okay. right now, man. It's embarrassing. There's All nothing right. there. Okay. That's fair. I mean, they, they, they are they have been struggling. Uh, Clay Thompson's contract is up. It's unclear. Or they were willing to sign him. I don't think they're going to sign him for big money. Draymond still has three years left on his contract. So it's going to be hard to get rid of Stupid. Draymond. Stupid. Uh, Omar, what do you think here? Can they rebuild around Steph? Does Steph need to ask for a trade? It. Or what's going on What what in uh, Warrior Land? Well, first of all, let's go back to uh, Jake being a better three-point shooter than Clay Thompson. Fool, your broke-ass jumper is like LeBron's broke-ass hairline. Both of y'all need to get some <laughs> fixing done on that. Okay? So get out of here because y'all ain't winning nothing. Now, I am going to make it a clean sweep and say that, yes, the Warriors need to... I'll be sending uh, real three-point shot later today. Yes. Don't you worry. I will be they posting them on Facebook. <laughs> Only three point shots you making is those baconets in that basket when you at work. Son, go back to Frito Lay and shut up. Anyway, um, um, and send me my baconets. I, I keep asking you to send my damn pork rinds, and you ain't be sending. And you keep putting them down, Omar. What's, be what? no, 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 what's better? What? No, no. What's better? Shooting baconets or having an ACL tear for being the water boy for his uh, his football team? In high school. Oh, that's good. Come that's on, good. Man. Oh, that's good. I'll yes. take it. I like that. I like you that. You a water boy, uh, Omar. Yeah, no, I was not a water boy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Now, look, I agree with the boys. The I, think that, uh, they, I think they should have destroyed this a while ago. That being said, okay. uh, there is no way that they can now. They have to okay. sign for the next four years through his 36 year se- thirty his age 36 season. Um, and he's right. built a legacy there. He's won all the championships. He doesn't need to win anymore. He doesn't need to go chase a ring like Durant. He doesn't need to go, you know, uh, trade teams and be on different teams like LeBron. He needs to stay in one place that will love him his whole career. He's going to be that throwback player that actually stays in one place his whole career like they used to do back in the day. Okay. Um, and he's going to he's gonna build a legacy there uh, and, that, and maybe even own a part of the team at some point. Um, Draymond... I mean, why let him go at this point? If you're trying to bring up the young kids like Kaminga and, uh, you know, right. uh, uh, what's his name from uh, 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 Looney, Looney um, and others like that, you keep Draymond because he's a great defensive player. Pot. You have him at a, at a cheaper contract that you already signed him to. No one's going to trade for him. You're the only team that can actually deal with him. So you keep him. The only person at this point that could actually go is Clay, And he could go somewhere Clay else in free agency. Yeah. I actually Absolutely. think he could. I think he probably wants a fresh start somewhere new. So I could definitely see that. Um, but no, there's nothing really the Warriors can do at this point. Be a as good Tony assistant coach Tony, somewhere. Absolutely. As Tony, But as Tony astutely pointed out, they traded a lot of their good young players. So like they got Kaminga, but yeah. like they robbed they robbed their own cradle. So if they would have yeah. kept Jordan Poole and James Wiseman and found a way to keep those young boys with Steph. Got rid of Draymond. And we're talking about a, another 15 years that the Warriors are yep. top four seed in the West. You know, easily. And, and and that goes back to the that goes back to the real salient point that Tony made about the Bulls. 
because a shout out again to Detroit Mel, but we did we did a storyline on um, dynasties, and we actually looked at the parallels mm -hmm. between those dynasties and how there were a lot of similarities between the Bulls mm -hmm. and the Warriors. So okay, except the Bulls kind of went out on a high note. They went out on a championship where the Warriors last year. I mean, the Warriors out. just won a championship, like. Yeah, ago. but it's been a it's been like three years ago, right? Like yeah, years ago. That should have been their last yeah. dance. They should have stopped there from that. Should have been. I, think yeah, I agree. Been. I agree. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. All right, so let's uh let's go into the playoffs. Uh we're a little long here, so let's get the playoffs. So all the seems like all the home teams have won. The Pelicans and the Thunder are currently in uh, 33. Pelicans up 33, 31 on the Thunder. A little bit of a surprise there. Uh, almost as minutes left in the second quarter. Uh, tight game. I'm surprised without Zion that that's a tight game, but we'll see what happens there. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, after seeing game one, we had we didn't get a chance to get on before the game ones, but we now that we know how the playoffs are picking out, who's the eight, number seven, number eight team? What do you think, Ken? Who do you like? Who's your you there? Who's your? Uh, I'm here. I'm okay. So who's your who's your picks uh, in the East now? Now that we have Man, I, I, I mean, right right now the Celtics are the Celtics are that team, bro. The Celtics are cooking. They cooking you with high speed, bro. They 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 not playing them no guys balling. They playing ball and they, and they doing with it. And, and, and I'm gonna tell you why. Let me tell you, Flo. Let me tell you. Tatum. Right. Tatum. <laughs> 23 points, get him, sell him for 18 from the field goal, 8 for 8 from the, hey, he balling, bro. He balling. Oh, Nine man. rebounds, three assists. Like, I'm telling you, Tatum is balling. The Boston Celtics are going to, they're going to be playing the Milwaukee yeah. Bucks the in Bucks the without Conference Championship, bro. Without Giannis? What if Giannis doesn't play for Are they going to be able to it get out of the It don't matter. Okay. Okay. It That's fine. Okay. What do you got in the East, Tony? Uh, this I love the playoffs, man. The playoffs <clears throat> is the time of year where your team wins one game and everybody gets up in this hoop like, oh, sweet, we going to the chip. The Celtics, listen, man, y'all going against the Miami Heat. Y'all not remember the, 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 the emotional turmoil this team put y'all through last season? Going, oh, putting y'all down three games. Allowing y'all to win three games, okay? Not y'all didn't win those games. They allowed y'all to win three, and then took really? out oh. in Game Seven. We wow, Boston man, y'all are one of those teams that I love. I respect. I'm living vicariously through the Celtics the same way I lived vicariously through the Warriors ten years ago. But I'm noticing <laughs> a, a pattern with Boston, okay? Y'all, y'all gotta get y'all gotta take this thing one game at a time. All right, guys, y'all. You know I mean, Boston should have won a championship. Y'all, y'all let an old ass Steph Curry get the best of y'all. A dried wow. up, yep. dried up Clay yep. Thompson get the best of y'all. Uh, inexperienced. He needs to be on weekly. Jordan Poole get the best of y'all. You, you know what I mean? So, and if you're talking about a Boston team that has been put together perfectly, you know, I, I want to say perfectly, but Danny Ainge and the, the Celtics brass have done an excellent job putting this team together. Sitting through the Kyrie Irving era, sitting through the Gordon Hayward injuries. Surviving mm -hmm. the Isaiah Thomas, you know, uh, emotional situations. The Celtics, man, uh, I love y'all. I'm living vicariously through the young Tatum, young Brown uh, wing diet, the you know, <clears throat> wing duo. They remind me a lot of Jordan and Pippen in a lot of ways. But oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You guys got to take it one game at a time because we've seen this movie before in Bean Town. You know, we've seen these green jerseys beat up on everybody before. We've seen them get to the Eastern. We've Jason Tatum is 25, what, 26? And this man has a resume uh, uh, comparable to the NBA legend. All of the conference finals, you know, all of this experience. Yeah. Got only listen to okay. the ring. So, patience, my friends. Uh, respect to the professor as uh, I'm great. I'm, as this episode's been going on, I'm getting a, a respect for you gentlemen. Uh, okay. Yeah. Of course takes, but Bean Town fans, man, and I made a video about this earlier. Respectfully, y'all just beat up on the Miami Heat team without its valiant leader, leader and without yeah. a team. I mean, that's true. You know, without Michael Jordan the second. 
Yep. Gary Terry is averaging 17 oh a game. Since he's been his 21 games and uh, the Miami Heat averaging 17. They don't got him either. So, yeah, y'all just beat mm-hmm. up on a, a, a team with a, you know, a Miami culture. That's something to put your hat on, especially an NBA rival. But who do the Celtics play then? <laughs> We've seen this movie before. <laughs> okay. Who do the Celtics play then? Do they get past Miami then? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think they get past. Oh, okay. Uh, who, who's the Eastern Conference then? Finals. I got, I got the, I got the, what, I throw my take out there, 76ers and uh, the, the Boston Celtics in the conference finals. Okay. I think we can get MVP. Wow. MV Embiid. <laughs> really? Wow. The 76ers go all the way. That's from the 70s. Mm. Okay. Yeah. What do you got, uh, Jake? Well, I see the Celtics lucked out in Jimmy Buckets, Michael Jordan the second getting hurt. So congratulations, you lucked <laughs> you, you, out. Hey, Jay, you gotta stop, man. You gotta no, stop. no. Hold on, hold on. You know why I'm so mad mean. right now? It's because yesterday I was with I was with one of my boys, and come to find out, he was like, he was, we were talking about because uh, he's a Celtics fan, and we were talking about how we didn't want to play. Um, how, or how we uh, didn't want to play the Heat with the with right. Jimmy Butler because obviously, as Tony said, they own us. Uh, right. And come to find out, this dude said, "Man, Jimmy Butler in the playoffs, he'd be like Michael Jordan." I just looked at him. I said, "I hate you so much." I said, "You, <laughs> more cap, just all that cap." <laughs> all that cap. No, and, no, right. he all is, right. he is. And let me finish it off. The Celtics better. This is their year. They better not make a mistake because this is for the taking. It's practically handed to them because now they get to face a Heat team that they, that has practically destroyed them every time. Now you get to luck out on that. Congratulations. Here's the other thing, though. Before you go ahead and scream away to the NBA Finals, which you should make, did you not see what Dame Lillard just did? I hope you're I watching. Did. Because the Bucks don't look like they're just going to sit there. And if yeah. Dame can establish himself without Giannis, and Giannis comes back, that's a bigger juggernaut than you, even you can think of. Now, we'll say this. The only thing that hurts him is the man Doc Block. And y'all know what I mean by that. Anytime oh, Doc no. Is on your team, okay. anytime I was Doc just about to give you the storyline, son. You always screw up and don't ever end up being great. The guy's still living off of a 2008 championship he lucked out on. So it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's ridiculous. Okay. If y'all do not win, I, I told you again, Omar, and I'll say it one more time. They better disband this team. Screw Jalen Brown and screw Jason Tatum ever being a team put together anymore. This team better be abolished if they do not win the NBA championship this year. So not just make the finals, they got to win it? No, yes, especially now that they don't have to see the heat. Okay. Not the not Jimmy Bucket's heat. So who do you got in the final in the in the Eastern Conference? Jake? I'm gonna go Bucks. I think that the I think Bucks that Tatum the is gonna cry. I think Tatum's gonna be the B <laughs> player cry. I've always said he was, Omar. And he will not live up to the hype that he should live up to. Kobe. But he will fall and crumble because Giannis has been there and done that. Tatum has him for a reason, buddy. Get ready. I can't wait to see Omar crying like the little girl he was when I saw him last year. What? Oh, oh, shit, I did it. What? Yes. It won't happen again. The heart. <laughs> That's the one thing about the conversation, man. Y'all, y'all got that heat. That, that, oh, man. The heat that we got to all <laughs> last year. What it's, you got, uh, so Omar? I know you, you've been having to sit through this. Yeah. So what do you think, Omar? Who? I everybody's to, got your stuff there, there, but they took, of, a, they took took a couple yeah, of jabs. Yeah, yeah. I, I was taking them in there. I, I was taking a lot of I was taking a lot of Aaron shots there for some strange reason. I felt like <laughs> felt like uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna say what I was gonna say because that's probably yeah, don't inappropriate for this uh, family <laughs> television show. So, uh, so anyway, uh, what I what I will say is I agree with Jake in the fact that the Celtics have to win this year. There are no ifs, okay. ands, or buts about it. Um, as okay. Tony mentioned earlier, they should have beat the Warriors two years ago, and they really blew that series and blew a, a an amazing chance at a championship. Um, so they should have won then. Now they're going to have to compete with Denver in the finals, and that's going to be a much tougher test 
in the Warriors. You gotta worry about that. Lakers are finishing that off. Don't you worry, but turn his mic off. All right, here we go. Turn his mic off. Someone please turn his mic (laughs) off. Please. (laughs) Um, um, Anyways, so the Lakers, who are not even going to get out of the first round, uh, I I am being I'm being facetious, Jake. I see. I'm be I'm just joking. Calm down. Calm down. Um, uh, you about they to jump out of seat? They so mad. They may not get jump out of seat. Um, I think that Boston crazy, has to man. live up to the expectations. It's completely right. Boston has to. It is their time. They need to catch him. Uh, that being said, I do think that uh, Milwaukee is going to be a tough. I. I you're right. With Jimmy Butler, the Heat, the Heat don't stand much of a chance. I think we all right. agree with that. Um, yeah, I, I think agree. with a, obviously with a healthy Jimmy Butler, this game, this series is going seven. It's not. Right. We're going to get past them. Then we have Cleveland or Orlando, two very inconsistent teams. Pretty much should be a gentleman sweep at the most in either one of those series. And then either okay. if Giannis gets healthy and Bucks can and the, and the Bucks can beat Indiana, which like 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 Jake said. The way Lillard went off today, it looked like prime Lillard back in Portland. Um, and if he can do that until Giannis gets back, I think they're going to be the ones that face the uh, Celtics in the finals of the Eastern mm-hmm. Conference. And that is a scary proposition uh, for us. Um, I, I also do like Tony's picks, though, of the 76ers. Embiid, if he can uh, stay healthy, now obviously had a little mm-hmm. bit of a re-flare up with the knee issue last game then then maybe they have a chance as well but i see boston and the milwaukee and, and yeah everybody's right boston has to cash in and win the championship right okay so you got you got a uh, boston and the bucks is that what you say milwaukee yep milwaukee okay all right before we go to king I'm gonna can, go I ask, the... can i ask this question real quick gentlemen yeah can already went can already went i'm good man i'm good bro I, yeah, I, he, I he got... went for the east already I've been going yeah. around the NBA landscape, the basketball world, and I've been asking one question: What the hell is all this Damian Lillard? For? What did what what did they, Damian Lillard do to make y'all feel like he's he's I, 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 scoring, he been scoring fifty over there in Portland sometimes? <laughs> no, well here's the thing. Here's the thing, Flo. Here's the thing. Yeah, yeah. We've seen a number. We've seen freaking Corey Brewer score fifty points. I don't know if y'all remember this guy, Corey yeah, Brewer. No Player yeah, but not like not as consistently as Leonard. But go ahead. But that's you know, fair. I mean, we've seen guys put up big point games. Right. I don't think okay. that's, to make that's fair. Seventy-five. I don't think that's enough to make you a, a I, favorite. Uh, you know, NBA contender. Because I think the Bucks um, went back two steps. You know, when they got Dame. Dame is not a defensive threat. And if you all you need, you just need one player on the other on the other team to score twenty to twenty-five points. You offset whatever Dame Dame does, even if he scores fifty, because he doesn't stick defense. He's a liability. Mm-hmm. He's a liability. Right, right, right. That's fair. I think that's really to true. me, yep, that's to point. me for Damien, I think that a lot of the um, Damien love uh, has been because he, he's been seen as a guy in Portland who hasn't had any help. And he's been out there kind of. He didn't have any help. I mean, he had McCollum yeah. for a little bit, but. Yeah, he did. But I mean, you know, for the most part, he didn't really have any help. He, either, he, either he didn't have the coach or he didn't have the right, you know, bat, Robin to his Batman. He just didn't have the right mix. And so and then for a while he was just by himself the last few years so i think that's been kind of the i don't know if you guys have an answer but that's kind of my answer for the the dame love i mean i think he's he's been seen as a guy who's kind of been left out to dry and didn't really have any help these last few years and i think that's why people well and he played him. it the right way he slow right. played the whole thing yeah. and made and himself out to be the hero and made the organization the villain by having to get right. rid of him so uh, but i do that's agree true. with tony um, he's a liability on defense, and he has made their defense worse. And with the losing of Drew Holiday to Boston, um, that was yeah. a huge defensive loss. And he for is them. a starter. And by the way, I do. It. Yeah. And by the way, uh, hot take, Jake. I will tell you not one more time. If you ever besmirch the good name, the great name of <laughs> Doctor Rivers again the in Luke. my presence, I'm going to reach. I'm going to reach through this screen with my 2008 championship hat and slap you across the face with it. <laughs> hey, Professor, you know what I hate? You know what I hate about the Doc River slander? All right. There's What's only that? What's there's that? There's only 10% of NBA coaches have won an NBA championship. And only ah. 3% of NBA coaches have actually been there. You know Tony, I mean? Tony, he keeps getting the favorite job. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Hey, go. Tony. I got one more thing for you. 
has Doc Rivers has Doc Rivers not been dealing with the proverbial chokers of the NBA? I mean, I love me some teammates, mm. but Chris, Chris never got out the first round. James Harden, Whoa. clown. Joel Embiid, if he don't do something this year, I swear, oh God, I'm making a what about Paul about. George? <laughs> Doc Rivers has been dealt a bad hand. 2008 was an anomaly where he had dogs on his team. Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, Rajon Rondo, and Paul Thank Pierce. You. He had the dog. And Ray Allen. Ray Allen. Yeah. He wasn't ready. Now he has dogs. He Ray Allen. And Ray Allen, too. But now he has dogs. Mm -hmm. James Harden, Paul, uh, excuse me, uh, jo uh, Paul George, Choker, Kawhi Leonard. Russell. Brody. Brody, Brody is there. No, wait, wait. Respectfully, Brody is a, Brody's just a wild card. You know, he's good when he's on a good team. But He had right. Chris Paul, and Blake Griffin, and, and DeAndre Choker. Yeah, Chris that's Paul true. is a choker. 19 years, no ring. Choker. I'm not going. I don't that's know really if he's a good. choker, but he has that gotten injured okay, in the in the, worst, in the worst in the worst times. Hey, so are you giving Doc a pass this year then too? I'm not giving him a pass. I'm saying we gotta put things in context. If you got James Harden on your right. team, if I'm an NBA coach and I got James Harden on my team, well, he right the 76 or so. Nothing well, I agree with that. <laughs> Was James Harden quits? He quit. He quit on games on, on Doc Rivers and the Sixers in game six and game seven. That's fair. Game, That's fair. Hold on here, Tony. Hold on here, Tony. Tony, these, this guy was up 3-1 on some uh, certain series. That's a coach yeah. mentality, too, there, man. Well, yes, Jake, but come on, man. We got to players play the game, bro. Let's I'm call sorry. a spade. Right, right, yep. Tony, come on, no, no, he will. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, so he coaches you to a 3-1 lead and y'all can't close the door? That's a player problem. That's not a coach problem. Adjustments. Thank I'm you, sure Tony. Doc River told him. Man, hey, it's crazy that Johnson. he keeps moving to different teams and the same results keep happening. Boy, are we trying to really blame blame the, a lot of these players, man? Chokers. Oh, come Paul on. George has choked. James Harden has choked. Oh, Chris Paul oh. has choked. Uh, uh, JJ Reddick. Oh, my <laughs> God. I can't get enough of this dude. You know what, JJ Reddick? Go look at his closeout stats. Abysmal. Coach K, <laughs> Duke. No, you don't look like <laughs> nothing Duke when you look at JJ Reddick's closeout stats. And he had the audacity to get on his hand. And talk about Doc Rivers and being a choker. Like, I'm right. sorry. Wow. Doc Rivers has been, right. yes, you got to give some accountability to coaching. You know, because we're going to praise him if he wins, right? But Yeah, we will. Time, if you got a consistent lineup, if you line up all of his star players, it's going to be a top 10 of the greatest chokers of NBA history. James Harden, again, is on that list, bro. That's I think. Yeah, uh, unless, he, unless he does well as this series, then, you know, he might come off. I, 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 I mean, if they do better without Kawhi, I mean, they just won. I don't yeah. trust and Tony. Tony, Tony my, I'm sorry. My brother, I'm sorry. My brother, Go brother ahead. Tony, my brother. Uh, my brother. We're going to move the West here in a minute. To, I need you to say it a little louder again for the people in the back, like Hot Take Jake, that don't like to listen. Can you give us that stat again about coaches making it to the final? Oh, yes. Only 10% of NBA coaches since this started. Congratulations. He's the, the worst of the 10%. Huh? <laughs> No, I'm just saying, we, when you talk about bad mouthing coaches, and we, we got to look at that. When you think of NBA history, you know what I mean? 10% of these coaches made it. That's a very minute number. Out of 10 people in a room, only one made it to the NBA Finals. And then you got to consider only out of that 10%, Jake, 3%. Cause just because you make it don't mean you won it. Only 3% has actually won it. So when you talk about That's bad mouthing a coach, and because look, 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 we're going to give Mike D'Antoni a pass. We, I'm a Chicago Bulls fan. Ain't nobody screaming for Billy Donovan's job. I want this man. Pink so how come he didn't get more than one in, in Boston? <laughs> and we talking about uh, Doc Rivers? No, man. We talking about what? Like that's, that's a, good, that's a fair question. How, how come only got Rivers one in Boston? Big four. Same crew. You get more than one in Boston. I saw Eric Spoelstra get two with Miami. I mean, they had a lot. The they had a lot of hard competition. That's fair. That's a, fair. They had they, 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 they had LeBron in one league and. They, they had LeBron in one league and Kobe in the other. They had a lot of competition, brother. Oh, yeah, man. You know, it's crazy because I saw Greg Popovich get five in, diff in different eras. That's oh. crazy. I'm a little mad right now. Wait, 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 wait. Greg Popovich is dealing with uh, uh, James Harden, who's on. Now, James Harden without Doc. I'm telling you to stick with the Boston team. Why didn't he get more than one? That is a big fool. Oh, because the very next year, KJ. Hey, so, Jay, Jay, here's the question. Jay, Jay who, come out, who come out of which? Who, who going to be the NBA? Wait, college? wait. We'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. Let's go to the West. Uh, yeah, Tony got to talk about that hey, later, man. Real That's quick, crazy. real quick. The I'll give you my take. The love I, is too much, Tony. Come on, yeah. 
I'll, I'll give you this. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll deal with that another day. But yeah, apparently, uh, yeah, Jake does not like. You got Omar burger. over there smiling. I'm like a little a bit on Doc's. I'm a little bit on Jake's side on this one with Doc. I think he's he ruined that three one, but. Hey, that is what it is. Uh, some good stats, though, Tony. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm gonna, I am I changed my mind up just a little bit. I think Boston is still going to go to the finals. But I low-key like the Knicks. I think the Knicks might end up going uh, all the way. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. I, 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 look. Hey. I, when, uh, I think I think I think they got uh, steeped into your memory for the night. No, no, I'm serious. Turn you off and I'm reboot serious. You. I think we need oh. to turn off and reboot. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm serious. I I, I actually I low key like the Knicks. I like Jalen Brunson and OG. Uh, I think when they play together, I like that team. OG, Anu Anunobi, My uh, Josh Hart, uh, Divincenzo, Bogdanovich. They have, I mean, if you look at the, their stats, they are in the top five or six on offensive and defensive efficiency. So they, they have played well, and I think they're better off uh, without, uh, what's his name? There's a Randall. huge reach flow. They're better off with, with off Randall. Huge reach flow. No, because Randall has been a poor out. playoff performer. Look at Randall's past in his playoffs. Look, they gotta have they're better off without him. And I don't think they're and not one of the. They, they, you got to have okay. one superstar. The last time a team didn't have a superstar was the Detroit. Brunson is the superstar. Brunson is the Who? superstar. Brunson. I mean, he can put up what? some points. I mean, I, I mean, Brunson's in the top. He's in the top ten. The, the, conversation the Detroit year. Pistons won without a superstar. That was in 2004, and they had an elite defense. I don't think the Knicks are that. The Knicks have a no, pretty they solid. They have a top that. five defense. They have a top. They're five not defense. that Pistons defense. Come okay. on now, Flo. Come on. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Knicks. Uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm gonna say Boston Knicks. They're not gonna be Boston, but I'm gonna say Boston and the Knicks. That's what okay. I. Got. All right, the West. Go ahead, Jake. Give us the West. Well, you got in the West? like I said, guys, and it's falling into fruition, like I, I had said, I think, uh, two weeks ago. Oh, here we go. The <laughs> Lakers are going to win this first series in five, so I'm not even worried. <laughs> They're going to win in five. Dude, they couldn't, they couldn't even hold on to a lead in game one. What are no, you let him finish. About? Let him finish, Omar. In five. In five, in five, Omar, in five. Don't worry. Bruh. Then... You then said they the same thing about the Heat I last think in year. the end they're going to end up finally seeing, I think, is it Minnesota? I think Minnesota they'll be able to see last. I think it's Minnesota Versus and the, the Lakers? Lakers in the conference finals. And LeBron gets a fifth ring and cements why he's the GOAT. And I cannot wait for it, guys. We're going to scream and shout and let it all out. I can't wait. I just, I just don't hey. understand, Flo. I just don't understand. Lakers, you know, five. you have the power to remove hey, me from the hey, stage, right? It can't be Minnesota, just Jake, by the way, because I think they're on the same side of the bracket. So you, it's either going to have to be uh, Dallas, Clippers, Pelicans, or Thunder. They'll meet Minnesota. Look, they don't even know the bracket. They don't even know the bracket. Gonna the, then it's going to be the Thunder. The Thunder? Okay, the Thunder and the Lakers? Thunder Lakers and they're too young, man. They're too inexperienced. Thunder and the Lakers. Wow. Can't what do you wait. think, Tony? Does LeBron uh, the the goat? Does he get his? My head hurts. Does... Five. I know you I... love LeBron, by the way. Um, how can I do that? I'm gonna be as diplomatic because I don't want Jake to to envy me or <laughs> to, uh, change his opinion of me after I talk about these Lakers, man. But uh, well, how long have we been hearing this? Year seventeen, year eighteen, year nineteen, year twenty. Hold on, wait. 20. Year twenty one. Every year, man, we hear it with the LeBron uh, James fans uh, how he's going to do this, that, and the third. But we we often forget Anthony Davis assisted. The D'Angelo Russell went one for nine last night. Jamal Murray is D'Lo. Okay, Jamal Murray. Everybody talks about Mike Malone and Joker and all that being a Mike. Jamal Murray is the take a paternity test. Jamal Murray is the daddy of the Los Angeles Lakers. Jake. I'm sorry, Y'all, y'all, y'all got more problems. Joker is just, you can't even talk about your Joker problems because y'all y'all got Aaron Gordon problems. Y'all got Jamal Murray problems. On, when Michael Porter feels like hitting the Tony, shot, you so, think we're not beating this team? Y'all didn't beat him last year, brother. Y'all didn't beat him. Y'all are y'all just lost right. 10 games. Like, right. 10 games going, back, beat him. <laughs> going back to, to let him finish, Jake. Ago, going back to the Western Conference Finals, 10 consecutive losses, Jake. Where in what world Ooh. lose 10 times in a row 
do you all of a sudden get the favor? Like, if if I walk up on a right. bully at ten times in a row, he beat my my beats my behind. It ain't like the eleventh day he gonna lose some testosterone. It's like he, he gonna get strong on that eleventh fight. He gonna know exactly right. what to do. Mike Malone talks so greasy to the Los Angeles Lakers, but you don't talk like that unless you know you got somebody's number. And I ain't never talked to nobody like that, bro. So you got in the West there, Tony. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to go on my rant, but I do got the Denver Nuggets. The Denver Nuggets oh, like of the NBA. They're the UConn of the NBA. Against uh, who on the West? Good luck, man. The Los Angeles Lakers in three. I mean, Denver in three in this series. <laughs> what? Denver in three. The series was over before it started, brother. We knew that. Y'all should have lost to the Pelicans, man, when y'all had a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. I can't believe this guy. Who's man. on the other side? Who on the other side, Tony? Is the, is the, you got the, the Nuggets against who in the West? <clears throat> so that's a that's a controversial pick because I want to put my my money down on one of these young teams. I love the Minnesota Timberwolves, love the Thunder, uh, but Anthony right. Edwards, man, I honestly think it's gonna be the Phoenix Suns. I think they'll be able to find a way off the superstar power to 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 match up. Uh, but if I want to put my heart, they're in, on the wrong bracket though. I think. Oh, so who was, is it? The Thunder? It, it's got to be Thunder, Pelicans, Clippers, or, or Mavericks on the other side. Mavericks like trash today. Yeah, I, I, I was going. I, I still got the Mavericks winning that series, but uh, if I had to pick out of that bunch, now nah, you know what I'm going Mavericks. I feel like okay. Luka Magic gonna turn it on. I feel yeah. like okay. You know what I mean? I think okay. Go. Okay. What do you got, uh, Canteen? From the west, the east, the west. Which one? Which one? Well, the west. Say? You already did, didn't you already do the east? You already did the east. So from the, the east, west, right man. now, right now, I think it's a prominent team from the west. Who are your two teams in the western conference final? I'm gonna go Timberwolves. Timberwolves do are good. Again. Okay, and who though? Don't do it. He's gonna do it again. Okay, He's see, gonna bro. do it. Okay, see. <laughs> okay, see. Oh, he didn't do it. Oh, okay. He didn't do it. Okay, cool. So the, you got the Timberwolves and OKC. Wow. I like that. For right now. I like that. For right now. I like wow. that. Wow. No, you. Hey, this is it, man. You can't be changing up now. <laughs> what I've seen. The canteen, jump on the Lakers ship before we we drive off, man. Uh, right now. <laughs> before they sink. <laughs> no. Before they think, Omar, what do you got in the West, man? Jump on the Titanic man. before it goes into the water. <laughs> Lakers of Lakers. five. I guys. cannot. You know, I, I have I have been on this show. I think we've been together, gentlemen, for almost a year now. Probably about nine it's months close. we've been together. It's close. Yeah. And I've heard Jake say some pretty astounding things <laughs> that have just really confounded me as a person. It's confounding But I don't think there's ever been one more worse than this take here yeah. you seriously <laughs> twisted your lips up to say that you think the lakers who couldn't even hold a lead <laughs> last night when they had it are going to beat the defending the champion denver nuggets powerhouse man jake turn your computer off and go to bed revenge to season bed. no more you to bed I need you to put those jammies on. <laughs> jump in, we, jump in, jump in the uh, bed. Pull the Revenge sheets up. Season, put your little music right. on. Smoke you, smoke you, or drink you, whatever you need to do to get to sleep, and take your ass Thunder. to bed. Bro. You start talking. Thunder versus Revenge, Revenge season. season. Well, who do you who do you got though, Omar, on the West? We we know it's not the Lakers. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's gonna be Denver. You know that. I already had Denver all year long. Okay. And I also okay. had the Clippers. Uh, so I'm gonna stick with that. Denver and the Clippers. Oh, see, you tr and and Harden we trust. Okay, I believe that <laughs> I believe that Kawhi if Kawhi can stay healthy. I believe that those four can can put it together. And, and again, Brody, my man Westbrook from UCLA, eight clap Brody. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I can see them for sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Wow. Uh. Yeah. I, I got the Nuggets. We. I think we've all had the Nuggets for the most part. Uh. I think they're coming out of the West. Uh. And the other side of the bracket, I like the Mavericks who have been playing lately. Uh. But they didn't look good against the Kawhi-less Clippers, and that was that was surprising. And right now, the Pelicans are giving the Thunder all they can handle. Uh. Four, tied forty-three oh. without uh, Zion. So I mean, Zion, that's not a good sign at home. If the Pelicans could win this, it'd be a series all of a sudden. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with you, Omar. I like the Clippers and, and the Nuggets. If Kawhi can come back, um, Harden seems to he played well. 
Uh, the Mavericks did not look good. It was, uh, I mean, all they had was Donich and and Kyrie. That's it. I mean, no one else was stepping up. That doesn't look bode well for the for the Mavericks. Uh, they don't play good defense. They've never haven't have played that all year. So, um, man. And the Lakers for sure. I mean, the, I had the. I kind of was. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say I was a little leery about the Lakers because they do match up well against the against the uh, Nuggets. I think I think they match up better than anybody else, just because of their size. Uh, but man, how much more can you get out of Anthony Davis and LeBron and still and still lose? I mean, they they got all they could. They got it on one of the best games they've gotten out of AD and LeBron, and they still couldn't beat the Nuggets. I mean. Don't worry. Team score I don't know. Forty together next game. It's gonna be in five. It's gonna be in five, Jake. But it's probably gonna be the Nuggets in five. I mean, no, it's not gonna not, be the Lakers not, not in five. It's not gonna be <laughs> probably anything. Not. Lakers in five, guys. Okay. They will not lose again. Hey, hey, the HTJJ, the hot takes jinx, hot take Jake jinx, is in the effect now. Is Hot take jink Jake's jink. Yeah. Hot take there's Jake Jinx is in effect. There's absolutely and then for the Lakers zero. Now, they've officially been jinxed by Jake by saying something That's so helpful. outlandish as the Lakers. Tony, you make in sure to watch the show next week whenever these guys. You are know, Jake, if you'd have said the Lakers in seven, I would at least given you some credit. But you say no the problem. Lakers in five makes no right, sense. Like they really are going to win No sense whatsoever. LeBron always loses the first game to study the team. Get ready. Oh, is that Come what on, man. Okay. Dang. Man, yeah. <laughs> the loser would do some shit like that. <laughs> oh LeBron God. James has been swept in every decade. Every decade, man. 2000, 2010, 2010. I don't 2000. know what's going on. I am not. I don't know if he is right now. But we're in a different And what is his right finals now. record He's two anyway? years old, Jake. He's 62. Let what's that his man finals be record? Years old. <laughs> yeah, what's his finals record, Jake? Don't worry. What's his finals record? Don't worry. Don't, worry. Don't, don't worry about that, Ed. We're not going to worry about that. That's not something to worry about. Hey, hey, records, records in the finals aren't nothing to worry about. You know, Tony. you know who, you know who never lost the finals, right, Jake? Hmm. Say his name. Say his name, Jake. Say it out loud, Jake. A little, Say a little it out loud, Jake. Door. <laughs> ah, of course you don't want to talk now. That got your tongue, huh? <laughs> ah, all right, man. What a show! What a show! Tony is here, and man, thank you, Tony. Appreciate we appreciate you coming you, out, that Tony. That's a bunch. <laughs> Giving nah, Jake the business. <laughs> hey, no, definitely. man, you made no sense on oh. that dark topic. Plug, plug your thing. stuff, brother. Plug all your stuff. Man. Hey, good job. Yeah, plug your stuff, Tony. Tell them where they can find you out there in okay. social media land. Uh, well, fellas, I'm on the big four. Like I say, Facebook, Tony Les Savant. Uh, Instagram, Tony Les Savant. Uh, Twitter, Tony Les Savant. And my firstborn, my first love is the YouTube page. I put everything up there. So uh, definitely okay. across those platforms. Nice. Yeah. And make sure you all y'all, in the audience, make sure you subscribe here at Bottom Line. I'm a big fan first of Bottom Line Sports. And I just appreciate you fellas having me up Hey, here. let's go. And sure, appreciate man. you, that Tony Les awesome. Savant. You got his own podcast? The Big Four? That's your, your podcast? Oh, yeah, that's, that's my channel, man. Come on over, bro. I'm, I'm live every day. I oh, the Big Four on uh, YouTube. Okay, yeah, we'll give you a follow. Give uh, Tony the Swan a follow and the Big Four on YouTube. No, I no, no. I'm no. on Facebook. Call, oh, it's not called the Big Four. <laughs> I call the, the social media platform. Oh, I'm social like, media. Yeah, I, okay, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm just on the... There's Tony the Savant on all the platforms. Then, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Uh, Tony the <laughs> Savant on all the platforms. My mistake, Subscribe. Jake. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. All right, yeah. My bad, your fault. <laughs> All right, so that's how my first star you says he likes to say that. My bad. Hello. <laughs> I like it. What up, Canteen? Hello, hey. What up? I'm good, bro. All right, man. Hey, any any final words, Omar? Jake. Why are you calling him out, man? Lakers of five. No, I'm good, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let me, okay, hey, bro, let me say this right here. Okay. If the Lakers win, if the Lakers win in five, I'm not coming on the show no more for the rest of the year. <laughs> I'm leaving. Yeah, he sounds like he's going to leave the show. Don't expect him to show up on Sunday. Jake, 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 you know why you think like hey, that? Did, hey, I don't remember. What did Wimby? What did Wimby? I mean, uh, yeah, Mike Wimby, right? He bet Jake yeah, something. Wimby. Wimby. If the lake, if the Heat won in five, he did something. He said he. he, he Eat a bunch of crow. I don't know what he said, but that, that never happened, right, Jake? I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to go back and find you know, that. I was, there was a bet in there. Mike Wimby said, "What does Jake, Jake owe us?" Oh, Jake. I'm I don't know. He owes he owes Mike right? Wimby something. I can't remember what it was. Hey, it was last year. Believe in the goat. He's gunning me, man. King James. 
Championship aspirations. We got five on the way. Let's go. Believe in the GOAT. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Let me bring this up. Hey, appreciate everybody coming on the show. Appreciate Tony the Savant. Yes, sir. Hot take Jake can the man Omar the sports professor. Let's go. I'm gonna open this up. I had to reboot, so I, I think let me turn it down here though. All right, here we go. All right, there we go. All right, hey, appreciate you joining the show. Thanks. We'll hang out in the back, uh, in the green room, Tony. If you want to hang yeah, out, yeah, if you gotta man. go, no worries. We'll see you next time, brother. Appreciate you coming on the show. And we'll see you next time on the Bottom Line Sports. Let's go. Y'all tap in at IOW Sports as well. Follow IOW Ball and Ball and Buds. Go tap in. Sports. See you next time. The Bottom Line Sports. Yeah. Hey, we'll see you guys in a minute. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Thank you.